Welcome to the podcast, the Thanks. Roman Atwood podcast. We've got my wife, Brittany Atwood. We got Julia. Hi. And Lance Stewart. <laughs> His other wife. In the house, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's that, um, what's it called? When you have more than one wife? What's that called? Sister Wives. Oh, or no, that's the show. <laughs> Dang it. I can't I don't think know the it. name. Monogamy. Monog- uh, yes. Monog- there's another word for it, though. Polyamory. Oh, geez. I don't know. Polyam. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Poly. Um, Dude, welcome to Ohio, both of you. Yes, thank never you. been. Thank are, you for having us. Are, are you guys dating? Like, are you married? We're engaged. 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 Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. How long have you been engaged? Um, almost three years. Three in years May. in May. Yes. Yeah. Her birthday, Dang. exactly. So what do you... Oh, what, you got out of getting her a present. <laughs> <laughs> it did work, right? Dodge the curveball, bro. So engaged for three and a half years. What's the... Like, there must be a big day coming, Yeah. Yeah, so we had a date planned. I feel like we explained this so much. So oh, many really? Times. Like oh, so cool, many cool. Times, we get this yeah. asked all the time, so we're just used to it by now. We but did the same thing, yeah. We, uh, we had a date planned, and then COVID hit, and the venue that we had planned basically told us that they wouldn't be able to um, finish the section that they were working on in time. Yeah. Because we wanted it was, this other part. Right. It was getting, like, completely redone, the whole thing, oh, and it wasn't going to be done in time. So, so you guys just so canceled basically the whole we thing. got out of our contract like <laughs> without you know having to pay anything and we from that point just never replanned it we've kind of just been chilling living our just lives just together and, yeah. yeah good yeah. for just you chilling. do eventually yeah. uh, plan on doing it because it's very stressful planning a wedding like it's very uh, stressful they're it's nightmares a lot. yeah they're we nightmares. ended up doing <laughs> like um, we went to Maui and did it was like the name of it was like simple beach wedding or something yeah and it was. Ceremony. We had dinner at our hotel, and that was it. That's perfect. Did yeah. you did you record anything or put anything online about it? Yeah, no? we did. Okay, we cool. did. What did you kick me for? I didn't mean to. <laughs> She's like, shut up, bro. Don't say nothing. This is, this is marriage over here, guys. Um, well, dude, welcome. Thank you. You guys flew here. This is we haven't got to use our studio for a while, so I'm excited. This might be our last episode in this building. Let's go out with a bang. So this definitely is definitely going to be the last one. This 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 could be the last That'll one. That'll be good. Um. What's uh what's Lance Stewart doing nowadays? Um, honestly, I don't do much. I literally <laughs> just go to the gym every day. I'm just like working on myself, trying to improve myself, you know, mentally, physically. Um, and recently, I have been like posting a lot on Snapchat. Um, Julie and I both do that. Nice. Kind of stepping away from vlogging and doing more of that. I've I post a vlog maybe like once every month. I used to My do it God. every single day. Is this is this the wave of every old YouTuber? <laughs> like, I feel like we're all like, yeah, we're on Snapchat. We barely post and we I go to the so. gym. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just like the lifestyle I like to live. I've been yeah. working out since I was um, uh, like 15, 16 years old. So about 10 years now. Dude, you're buff. Thank you. Right. I appreciate it. <laughs> Your nipples are hard. Everything's, yeah, dude. They're popping. <laughs> oh Everything was like diamonds. I got ripping out, Why? dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, I've, I've I've seen you kill it at the gym for a long time. Thank you. And your dad's like a big dude too. Yeah, yeah, he's just naturally like that. He's I, we both got like a like a, a stockier build. You Good guys genetics. have the same exact build. Yeah, same build. Yeah, you're like you are your dad. They're twins, yeah. literally. Yeah. Let's yeah. Go. He can't beat me though. He can't push as much weight. You guys, you guys try. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get him to go into the gym. He went for. Um, probably about like a year and he was, he was putting some good size and then he just kind of fell off and you know, he has his work and his job and like other things getting away. He's always got dad strength though. Yeah. That true. is a thing. Yeah. Well, my son Noah has gotten so big and strong, but I can crush him in an arm wrestle. Oh really? I mean, just cr- no chance whatsoever. That's good. And he, his arm is double my size. Well, let's hope it his doesn't dad, get to the point where he gets no, past he's, you, bro. No, he's going to crush yeah, me. Maybe. He probably can now. Well, that was a while ago. Dude, old YouTube. Like, I feel like we have to talk old YouTube because we are... Quite possibly, I'm not. You know, let's leave it up to the the viewers, the listeners, the clickbait kings of YouTube. Yeah, that was literally. Sure. I, I had that title, dude. I, people would always yeah. comment it. Keemstar would say that it was it was a bit bro. Thing. I would be going off on a good week of clickbait, big views, and then Lance Stewart's videos pop up, and I'm like, <laughs> this is another <laughs> level, bro. He'd be like, I wrecked a go kart, and it's That's like what a, I was gonna it's say. It's like a Google. <laughs> image of a dude upside down <laughs> with like blood everywhere not Lance Stewart <laughs> I, I have to click the video dude doesn't even he like bumped a wall or something <laughs> dude I, I so like I like I crashed my R8 a little bit right I had a yeah. car R8 um I like ran it was running outside I went around a bend I like you know basically slid into um this like little corner 
and I messed up the wheel. You know what my clickbait was for that? <laughs> I took a picture of an RA online that was completely crashed, like total, and I just photoshopped my color on it. It was just chrome blue, and I just took a picture of me and I photoshopped it and it. It looks so real. And how many views? It's probably got like a mil. Two mil, something right. like that. I don't know. I gotta check. It's Dude, YouTube time, created but. this problem, bro. We yeah. were smart. We were smart. Well, genuinely, if we didn't have to, uh, you know, think of an attractive thumbnail, you know, it's the title is okay. That's one thing. But the, the the thumbnail is obviously the most attention grabbing thing. Yeah. If we didn't have to do that, and I could just post content, and just do you know what I do, it would be so much less stressful, and I wouldn't have to go to these like extreme extends to try to, you know, obviously clickbait and pull in views. It, it's it, like impossible to, without it, it's like really hard to grow. It did not take long for us to realize clickbait was night and day difference. It's like, oh, the thumbnail's that important? Yeah. Because for a while we actually didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, Brit in a swimsuit did how many views? <laughs> You have lots of swimsuits. <laughs> Let's take more swimsuit thumbnails. It was like, it was business, bro. It was like the only way to get people to click. And my goal was always, if they just click, they might like the content. Yeah. Right? And yeah, they usually same. did. They same. subbed, they, they followed, yeah. they loved it. And most of yours didn't care about the clickbait. Yeah. But I mean. that the, the, Your viewers, your fans don't care. Yeah. Right. But when you're trying to attract new people and people that obviously don't follow you click on it, like, oh. This again, really? Are you kidding me? I actually remember a specific time you were vlogging because I used to watch your vlogs. And um, you said something, and I was like, oh, I know he's talking about me. You really? said something about being like, oh, like everything's got to be um, for clickbait. Like, oh, to get views now, like everything has to be like so dramatic and so like um, – <laughs> You said something very specifically, and I just dang. Knew. I wish I knew what it was. I, I, I don't know. If, <laughs> like you had like something like something always facts. has to go bad. Oh, like yeah. like you always have to display something that's bad. But it's yeah. kind of true. It's like shock factor, right? The news, the television does it. Um, yeah, the news stations. It's Dude, all we got shock we got to the point where like the. the like you're driving down there, you're like, we got to get pulled over. We don't have a thumbnail <laughs> yeah, today. Yeah, like, we real. need a cop. We need a, <laughs> like, you have to break the law to get views, yeah. bro. It's like, and then the views outpaid the ticket. Exactly. A hundred to one. Like, oh, I got pulled over. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Dude, let's go. go. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. Bro, it was Wild West, bro. But it they, was. They've, they've figured out how to end us, mm -hmm. like with clickbait, bro. Yeah. Because I, I, I've, I mean, it doesn't work anymore. You don't yeah. think it works? Still? It, no, it doesn't. No, it, it's new type of clickbait. Like, and, and long titles now. Back then it was like, it finally happened. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do those. Um, if it ends with this or finally or it's X, dude. Yeah, it doesn't really How many do vlogs well. do we have that this is it? It happened. Oh, God. I this have a is lot. it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the end. It's happening. <laughs> because it, <laughs> because weird. for a while th it worked. Yeah. That's all that mattered to us was what works. It's the same thing that, work, uh, that, that the big YouTubers are doing now. They're doing what works. Yeah. Now it's algorithmic. Right. It's like they understand every back end, every font, every everything that makes the algorithm take a video. Right. Yeah. Recommended and watch time. And so, yeah, it's all about watch time. Right. So yeah. I think the thing with the vlogs is um, like I get great watch time for my subscribers. But when people click on the video and, you know, YouTube's going to try and recommend it, the people that click on it and are only going to the specific part, that's the title and thumbnail. Yeah. The, and and the video gets bad watch time from like that non-subscriber. It doesn't get pushed. That's how they killed clickbait. Yeah, exactly. Right. So now you're punished if you clickbait. Yeah. They only watch for that thirty seconds and they're out. But see, with the vlog, it's kind of you know random and all over the place. So obviously, we just pick the most attractive part of the day. Even it, if it wasn't something like over the top or extreme, like I may have done in the past. It's the same instance, so it's like people are just coming from that one part. Like, yeah. how would you title it other than just like, oh, vlog, day in my life? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, And that's bro. not really interesting of a title. No, so. we, would, we would wake up and say, what's our thumbnail today? <laughs> that's the only thing that matters, and then we will create an entire video yeah. around that. Yeah, yeah. And that, that, was, that became like a mental racket, yeah. dude. I mean, I would do the same, so I understand. And, and we, we got to that point because you'd have your best video ever. I can't wait for people to see this, but you have no thumbnail. Yeah, it's the worst. And it has the least amount of views. And then you come out with the biggest pile of crap ever, yeah. but you have the best thumbnail. That's happened so much. And it's millions of views. And you're like, okay, the only thing that matters is this thumbnail. Yeah. It's sad, actually, because that's happened to me a lot. I'm like, I put so much time and effort yeah. and sometimes even money into a video. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is going to murder. And it does <laughs> terrible. And But I do something where it's like so half- you know, yeah. I don't want to curse, but you, you know where I'm getting at. It just does terrible. Bro, and, and Bert was always good at like, like, you know, when you're daily vlogging, you had to just post no matter what. Yeah. Some days we did nothing. 
It's like, we sat on the couch with the kid the whole day. Mm -hmm. She's like, that's what people want to see. I'm like, no, I'm not posting this. Just, <laughs> just post it. And it would be like a big video. It'd be like, that's the side I never understood. I was like, I always thought I had to be going crazy Same. impact. Like it's actually less relatable, but she was always good at that. Back it's in the day, not now. But yeah. see, it mentally, like, I'm the same way, and I can't just post, you know, me sitting on the couch just talking and yeah. rambling. Because I watch it back, and I'm like, oh, it, this is boring to me. Yeah. Because I'm so used to being over the top and just going out and doing fun things, whether it's, like, quad riding or, like, yeah. jet skiing, just entertaining things, you yeah. know? So I understand yeah, that completely. Yeah, now it's, you know, I don't know. How old are you? 26. I'll be 27 yeah. in June. God, you're a baby. Yeah. How old are you? 39. It's not that old, right? 39. So you were crushing it when you were only 20? Yeah. Dang. I think 20 to like, yeah, about t like 19 to 21, it was like prime time YouTube years for me. Like I was, I was. Do you I remember some of your together. best months? In terms of views? Just, just a good month. What'd you get paid? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I sure. You can I don't play care. the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the best month ever. Um, I did about three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in YouTube ad rev. Nice. Yeah, that was great for me. Oh yeah, that's yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And what? then Fruit Ninja Days. Um, I I did really well too. I think I made like two hundred in a month. But I made, like, kind of like hand, yeah. Yeah, I made like a series. Yeah, I made like a series. Was that all Photoshop? No, <laughs> dude. Look at my, <laughs> look at my no. finger. Oh. So this is normal. This is how it's normal. Yeah. It's supposed to bend up. And then right here, obviously, it curves. Um, they, I sliced through my tendon, and I sliced through a little bit of my other. That was a hard finger. one to watch. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I was like this click baiting mother. And then I <laughs> click on it. He's like, oh, he it's actually, actually cut happening. his hand. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Dude, he actually did it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's I right. didn't intentionally do that. Yeah. And my, my buddy was going to show off the camera like, keep it recorded. What are you doing? It's like, how many views you want? Yeah. How many views you want? <laughs> I'm like, at, le at least make it worth it, right? Oh, it God. did really well. Yeah. I mean, drama, I mean, still does well, bro. Like, do you remember all the drama channels? The Keemstars yeah. and the, like, we were in that yeah. time. There was one specific <laughs> thing and it kind of irked me to this day. So, um, you did this little trick and I, and I tried it too and it worked really well. So we would, um, you know, on Twitter, Keemstar was calling us out saying we were like, you know, botting our likes and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, when we genuinely, that. We genuinely weren't. We yeah. were like doing like following sprees and stuff yeah. and people go and like our stuff. So we had a lot more engagement. And I guess because we were getting way more engagement than him with such less of a following on Twitter, he was like thinking that we were botting it. Yeah, we, we had such a large vlog fan base yeah. that I remember that we would just show, all right, guys, I'm following you now on Twitter. Yeah. And that would explode our tweets. Yeah. I remember Twitter reaching out to us at that time. They said, you're like one of the top 50 accounts on all of Twitter oh, during crazy. that time. Oh, but yeah. I do remember people, you're buying, you're buying likes. And, yeah. But bro, genuinely, we, just, we were. Bro, we had, we had a massive audience at that time. Yeah. It's just they would do whatever we asked them to do, and they wanted to be followed. Yeah. And now I have 10,000 people I follow that is so random Same. to me. <laughs> and I'm like, and there's no mass unfollow, so I still follow a lot of these people. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, I get something on my feed. It's like, dude, I can't even scroll on my Hail Twitter. Hail Hitler. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> oh I'm following God. this guy, bro. It's mostly like sexual content. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We were literally I, just talking about this. Yeah. I literally unfollow porn constantly on Twitter yeah, from I people well. I follow. I'll get, <laughs> like, it, it won't even be people from my fo Like, It'll say like, oh, you're getting recommended this content because of this person that you follow. It's not even like them retweeting yeah. it. I guess they're going and liking that type of content too. So it's like, mm -hmm. I don't really know how the algorithm works there, but... Well, it's, it's across the board because yeah. I see a lot of people like, bro, it's all just fighting and sex on Twitter now. And I'm like, it's not just me. Yeah. Like, I feel like other people are clicking on normal stuff. I don't stuff. get that on Twitter. But, I'm not, I'm but you're a girl. Actually. But you're a girl. If I get on TikTok, it's girl, 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 yeah. girl. She's like, stud, I, oh, stud, it was, stud. It was, <laughs> it, it, that was happening to me on TikTok too. And then I just sit there and I literally just go and hit not interested on like every video. Yeah, there's video a button until, if you hold it down. No, it's because my eyes interested. see a set of boobs no matter what. <laughs> okay, tell right? them what happened on Instagram when you said not interested in all the girls. Okay, what was this happening? is funny, bro. Did, did it keep popping up? No. Did it pop up even more? So here's what okay. Instagram did to okay. me. <laughs> so I did this as an experiment for the, a week. It took a week. Mm -hmm. Every girl... Have Nagan, whatever, not interested, not yeah. interested. And I did this for a week. The next week, I got big girls. <laughs> All big girls, bro. So, I wasn't expecting not that. Not interested, not interested, not interested. The next week, dudes. Yeah. It, it just is trying to find what you're into. Yeah. Now I just have little people on my feet. <laughs> I swear, bro, it's because I love their videos. Yeah. So I'm like, 
And if you accidentally watch anything, like God forbid. Yeah. Like it changes your whole like, like algorithm. I like this video of a dirt bike, but I kind of need to skip it because I don't want 300 dirt bike videos. Yeah. Next. Like, <laughs> so it was happening for me for a bit. Like I would hit not interested on yeah. Instagram. I'd go through and like like 10 photos of girls. I'd scroll and just hit not interested. And then I would refresh it and then I'd get even more. I'm like, like, yeah, that makes it no takes sense. a long so, time. Yeah, it did take a while to like kind of drown out that yeah. content. Now I just get like gym content, bodybuilders. Um, Dude, it's super food. smart. Like, um, I've been dabbling in aviation. So for now, now there's a mix of like girls with aviation. <laughs> right? It's like, we're going to get you. Bro. Yeah. Like, you're going to look at it. It's, it's, it's a wild, wild west. What do you, what did the ladies served? What do you guys get served on? I get all fitness girls. Just girls. Literally everything. All fitness girls. Because that's I all like, I actually watch. Nails, helicopter stuff, plane, mainly like nails. Like nails. I nails. get nails too, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. nail designs. Yeah. Because yeah. you've clicked on one. Probably. That's what happens, dude. Do you get a lot of food stuff? Food sometimes. She's always sending me like new snacks and stuff yeah. that come out. We're, we're food junkies. We Foodies, love yeah. like random snacks and, you know, crappy foods. Yeah. I try. I sent him some recipe. I was like, dinner, question mark. And then you just sent me a picture Steak. of me laying on the bed. Beef, <laughs> eggs. Dude, I'm like nine days in on just beef, eggs, oh, fruit. It's so hard. That's it. Yeah. What kind of beef? I can't do Like it. steak or? Grass-fed beef. Okay. That's it, dude. Like carnivore. Just, yeah. Just like earth f- food. Like Seasoned just, or just, just plain? Just salt. <laughs> just salt? Just salt. Wow. That's very boring. Yeah. That's I've done so those boring. types of diet before and they suck. We used to do- um, Just boring. Ground turkey. Ground turkey, Like 99% yeah. lean. Mm, Terrible. Used to do a lot of turkey. Mm-hmm. That's it, so- It's mm. so boring. It's so hard to keep that as a diet. So like now I just, um, I didn't know how to properly diet, so I kind of just followed like that type of plan. But now I know how to like count my calories and my yeah. protein intake. So I can kind of like eat whatever I want as long as it like fits my goals for that day. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's the most boring thing ever, but I do think I feel my best when I do it. Like, yeah, I feel locked in, and and food becomes like just fuel and not fun. Yeah, like I'm no longer eating a snack for fun, mm-hmm. for the joy of it. I'm eating food just for energy. Exactly, and that's, that's like my only joy is food. <laughs> yeah, like it's so. It, I mean, it's hard for everybody, but she is like uh, a dog. Like when we're driving down the road, it's like having a husky in your car. <laughs> like squirrel, squirrel. It's like. McDonald's, Chick Fil A. Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Milkshake. Like um, it's it's wild. It's been a long time since I've had. But I think we're all like, yeah, chemically like we want the the, the palatable foods, the high sugars and the the explosive. It's yeah. addicting. Yeah. 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 That I mean, crash after sucks always. You just feel like going to sleep, chilling on the couch. Yeah, and then I get into like a streak of like, all right, I'm hitting the gym. I'm eating like real lean, and then you don't want to lose that streak, yeah. right? Because I'm I'm at the size where if I eat carbs, I'm instantly swelled up. Yeah. And I hate it. Really? I hate it. Yeah, I like it because it fills me out. Yeah. See, I like being like really small and tight. And like lean. lean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like being like lean. Yeah. So like I eat carbs and I, my six pack's gone. I'm like, this sucks. Really? Yeah. I feel hmm. like carbs is fuel. Yeah. Like, well, I like carbs. I, I get a lot of carbs in fruit. True. Oh, okay. But... You know, I'm not eating a bag I of Tostitos. Yeah, it, I guess it depends, you know, like obviously that has a lot of oil in it too. So yeah. the oil kind of like goes through. Seed oils, bro. True. Yeah. It's not yeah. Good Them dang seed oils. I eat a lot of carbs. You like 500 grams a day. And yeah. I'm not even kidding. No I wonder eat you're He eats a lot. You're so swollen. A lot. Yeah. You're just carved out, bro. There's no I muscle I wish I could just that. show you. Yeah, it's right? Just it's just carbs, all carbs, dude. Bro. <laughs> carbs and like injectable. What is it? Synthol? It's like Bro, people, okay. People, Have you seen oh these guys? Yeah, it's crazy. I thought it was a... Joke? It's like fat. They're injecting like fat into their I'm muscles. I'm seeing these like little dudes with huge, <laughs> bulky, floppy. Yeah. Wait, what? Have you not seen this? It's like the SpongeBob blow up arms. <laughs> Bro, it is so scary looking, and they're all scarred out mm-hmm. from the injections or the implants or I think they're implants. I don't know. I, I think I've seen people. It's just like yeah, it's like injections. Like they literally just like get a needle and like inject like fat constantly, and just do it over and over again until it kind of like swells up. It's all floppy and yeah, weird it's looking. Weird. It's not muscle. I don't know why they think it, it looks good. Oh. I'm sorry if you have it, but I don't personally I mean, that's think it looks good. <laughs> that's my uh, opinion. It doesn't look natural. Yeah, of course. I think natural obviously is more attractive to me. Mm-hmm. Whose phone is that? It's mine. It's, oh. Sorry. You need it. Johnny Hollywood over here. It's mine. It's the uh, nanny. <laughs> oh, my Yo, God. Hello? Hello? Yeah, no, I'm not busy. Get I them don't. foot pics, people. Here they come. <laughs> Got to take them out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm flexible. Like you that. answer your phone with your yeah. shoe on? Yeah. Sorry. 
When Sorry. I was a kid, I used to like bite my toenails really weird, but that's why I'm like so flexible. I'm not flexible at all. But it's just a weird, you can bite your head. Weird nails fact. now. Do you yeah. still do that? No. You want to put that on the internet? Brit, <laughs> Brit no, still care. chews her nails. Don't say that. Like, I don't know. Like she nibbles. You're just like you're no. just like, nails. She's like two at a time, both feet. <laughs> I'll like multi feet. So I used to do that a she lot. She double stuffs. Stop. <laughs> I have so many feet pages. Like they'll go crazy for that. All right, guys, we got to pause very quickly to give some love to our sponsors of this episode, SeatGeek. There are concerts coming up. Summer's rolling out. The events are pouring in. SeatGeek is the place to get the best deal on all tickets. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every day on SeatGeek. That includes concerts, sporting events, festivals, and so much more. They have sponsored some of the coolest things we have gotten to do from UFC events, hockey games for date nights, concerts. We'll be using SeatGeek to go to the NF concert coming up. We're going to Morgan Wallen coming up, all using SeatGeek on your phone. You've got the baseball season taken off. You've got the NBA and NHL playoffs. They're here. You've got artists like Taylor Swift, Drake, Beyonce. They're all on the app and they're on sale. You're just not going to want to miss out. Basically, the way the app works is they put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. Each ticket is rated from 1 to 10. Look for the green dots. Green dots mean good deal. Red dots mean bad deal. Every single ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that allows you to return a ticket before an event with swaps. And you know SeatGeek is coming through for you guys. Use code Atwood, promo code Atwood, to save $20 off. That's $20 off your very first purchase using code Atwood. Of course, I put everything in the description. Click the link. It'll take you straight there. Use promo code Atwood. Get that $20 off and enjoy a concert, a festival, an event of your choice. Have fun. And now, back to the show. Don't say that. I think Do I have, have something You have a burger. Nose? Thank you. Brett has a booger. <laughs> no, Finally. She calls me out every time. Oh, really? Do I have a booger? Oh, my God. It's been there the whole podcast. Oh, my God. We're going to have to start over, guys. I'm sorry. Start over. <laughs> but, yeah, I used to bite my fingernails a lot. I kind of, like, bite the skin around it sometimes. You still kinda do, just like kind a, of. I yeah. definitely habit. bit a couple today. I try not to. I don't know I don't, why. I don't bite any nails. It's our ancestral <laughs> genetics, dude. Like, It's like nervousness or just, like, you're just bored. I don't really know. Yeah. 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 So what else is going on? When's the wedding? I'm gonna go. <laughs> why don't, why don't you guys? Are, are you trying to do something like real big, or you just want to? We were going to. So my sister yeah. had a giant wedding. She had like 250 people there. That's horrible. It was a lot. <laughs> After a lot going of to people. there, like it was fun, but yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah. I feel like we would never have like the whole time. It would be not about us. It, yeah, it, would feel it was like, always about like somebody else's opinion coming in. Like, oh, you should do this. You should do that. And. Well, like, I just feel like if it was that many people there, the whole yeah. time we would just be going up to people and talk, or people come up to yeah, us and talking no, to us. so of, like, stressful. And it's, like, people that, like, we don't even know, you know? <laughs> yeah, because we have a like, lot of family knowing. that would come from yeah. each side that, like, oh, maybe there were a couple birthday parties when I was younger mm -hmm. that I don't really talk to. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd rather keep it way more personal, maybe have, like, 20 to 50 people Intimate, there. yeah. That's what we did. We had, like, 20. That's good. What yeah. you guys so did nice. sounds really nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, just go to, that go to Maui. Really and I mean, there's so many places that do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, a awesome. little place here called Buckeye Lake. They have a nice, nice venue if you guys. It's green. It's disgusting. It's where COVID oh. started, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so you were you're being <laughs> no. sarcastic. Yeah. I didn't get that up until I saw her face. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, don't it's go wrong. there. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. But yeah, a lot of people like Buckeye Lake, but. I do not. Is it a wedding venue? Mm, probably has a wedding venue. The winery venue. might, but. Yeah. yeah. Wineries are beautiful for weddings. Yeah, yeah most they places. Look good. But the water is like green and like. I'm mm, born and raised floating. here and I have nothing good to say about that lake. Every time I've been in, I'm <laughs> nauseously sick. Mm. Yeah. I get that, that brain eating amoeba in there, bro. <laughs> yeah, literally. I had to go to the hospital. My brain popped <laughs> yeah. from getting in that lake, dude. That is not a joke. Have I it's told like that? It's like a man made lake. I think so I've told they that story. Yeah. Dug it out. So it's just like, oh, gotcha. It's disgusting, bro. Yeah. It's disgusting. What's the uh, car situation nowadays? You had the Audi? Yeah, so I had the R8. I had that for about six years. I got rid of it. Um, well, you crashed it pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so did it. That was wrong. Totaled it a couple times, there's a, there's a video on YouTube showing the whole thing. <clears throat> um, I just recently got a, uh, a Lamborghini. Oh, you did? So it's always been like my dream car. I really My dream car is the Lamborghini Aventador, but um, it, it's, it doesn't make sense to get that. It's like a million dollars, and like as a daily driver, it really doesn't make sense. So I was scrolling through Instagram one day, and I, I found this like fully modified Lamborghini Huracan, and I was like, wow, this is beautiful. I don't have to do any work to it. 
It has a Liberty Walk wide body kit on it. I was psyched oh, about dang. it. So I bought it <clears throat> um, literally right off of Instagram. I got the car. It's a lemon, bro. No and way. The car is so many issues. It was missing like its underplates because it was basically like a SEMA build car. Um, <clears throat> twin turbo, Liberty Walk, 1200 horsepower. It's sick. But I get no traction on the car. Um, I spin out anytime I try and hit it. Um, I The transmission just went recently. Like, Literally two months after I had the car. What's a tranny cost in a in a? It was forty thousand dollars. Mm. Oh my gosh! But I didn't pay that. They rebuilt it, so it cost me a little more than half. It was twenty five. So you got a refurbed <clears throat> yeah. transmission. Yeah. So they they rebuilt the transmission. Um, it had airbags on it. I took them off. Um, did I put like another like fifty k into just like fixing the car up? Damn. Now it finally drives good, and I still get like no traction. It's just too much power. Did for you talk to the, Did you talk to the guy on Instagram? No. You haven't. <laughs> well, what, what would you like to say to him? I <laughs> don't see. That's the thing. I mean, you bought a souped-up, pre-built yeah, Lambo, so I anything can is. happen. I yeah. bought as is. There's not much I could say. I was going to be mean yeah. and like go after him. Like, I don't. It's not me. I feel like cars of that modification have problems, though. Yeah, right? They're to. always in the shop. They're yeah. always being retuned and. The car's been in the shop longer than I've like had it myself. It sounds like it has no traction control. It, it, like it's nothing. Off. Yeah, it's basically off. Even when I launch the car, I barely get traction. Is it's it like, all-wheel drive? It is, right? So it's rare. So oh, it's, it's rare? Yeah, it's a lot of power just at the rear. That's a lot of power. Yeah, and I have very grippy, thick tires on it. It's just like, just gets like no traction. I bet. I mean, <laughs> mine's all-wheel drive and with half the horsepower, and I can rip all four tires. Yeah. So I can't imagine. Uh, I, 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 you bought your dad a vet, right? Yeah. Yeah. That thing, I don't know why I bought my dad a vet. That thing is was scary. It I, is. I bought him the newer one yeah. now. But uh, he had a lot of fun with it. He got rid of it around the same time I got rid of my R8. So he got rid of his car first and then made me think about it. I'm like, you know, I'm going to get rid of mine too. Yeah. So I literally sold it like a month later. Um, I just sold it back to like the dealership I bought it from. Right on. I didn't get a lot for it, but I was kind of just like at the point where I'm like, I just want to get it off my yeah. hands. I didn't want it anymore. I, I was getting like running into issues. I had the car for like almost six years. So at, after that point with the supercar, I feel like it's, it just goes downhill. Very fast. Yeah, dude, cars are... I, I've just never been into them. I love them, but I just... There's many cars that I could own. I just won't ever own one. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's not for me. I have a Tesla. I really like it. It's really fun. Um, some technical issues every once in a while, but I, I, I leased it purposely because I kind of had a feeling about that. But it's like my... Like what? Like what my goes wrong driver. with Tesla? <laughs> 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 so there's for some reason i keep getting this error like every once in a while it happened like once a week where my power steering goes my traction car or traction control like turns while you're off. driving it goes out no 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 oh. this will happen before i start the car i got it got it <clears throat> it's Sorry, a computer like, issue of some sort <clears throat> take a drink really mucusy take a drink <clears throat> yeah this is ohio air <clears throat> this is welcome to ohio yeah i think <laughs> it's the sick you get part of that amoeba bro we well we just have a lot of train accidents here so it's the water <laughs> You got yeah. that from the airport? Just water. No. <laughs> yeah. came luckily, out of, luckily, this came from Philly. That's a local so, creek bed. So. <laughs> I think we'll be good with that. So, yeah, the uh, the Tesla, like, all the lights will go on in the car. And, like, I drive it. But, dude, imagine driving with no power steering. That's horrible. Under, yeah. like, 10 miles an hour, it's like you're cranking it, like, trying to, like, use all of yep. your muscle to, like, turn the thing. Pulling out of my driveway is a nightmare with it. But other than that, when it's actually working <laughs> properly, it's really good. We were just with uh, Jesse in LA, and he, he couldn't leave. He's like, my, my, my Tesla needs restarted or something. It's like the computer. I'm like, what? I didn't know these needs things. Needs an update. Yeah. yeah. Like, Hang on, I got to update my car. <laughs> it won't start without the update. Yeah. Bro, I'm not there yet. I'm literally like possibly the last guy you know with an electric car. I'm not there. I don't blame you. Like, I still love my loud. Same, same. Footprint leaving gas-powered guzzler, dude. I don't blame you. I yeah. love it, too. It's yeah. fun. But my kids are all in on it. Yeah. My kids are like, get a Tesla, get a Tesla. I'm like, I'm not getting a Tesla. They are cool. I really like it. Um, but I, I completely understand. I'm like, I'm like both sides. You know what I mean? Yeah. My dad's very like you. Like, you know, he loves, you know, yeah, motorcycles. We're old, and bro, his, we're old. Yeah. So I'm kind of like that, that they're, in between. They're waiting for our generation to die <laughs> so that the new kids like mine are just all in on electric. Yeah. yeah like, we got to go. We're, <laughs> we're, we're holding up the place. So. You want to talk about your new car? You probably showed it by the time this came out. Maybe. Do you think? Yeah. I don't know. Right, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, when move they on. do decide to, to show it, we, we, we took a ride and it was sick. Yeah, yeah. it was so, nice. It's yeah. a little nice. hype up for you guys. Super yeah. fun. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I try to give my viewers some type of like, there's a lot of people probably listening right now that are 
trying to YouTube themselves or trying to do social media, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, Warzone. Um, how have you dealt with all the draw, like the, the, the negativity? Because like guys like us, like no matter how positive you are, no matter what you do, you're going to have hate yeah. pouring through all cracks. So my entire life, I've been a jokester. I've always like just messed with people. I'm very sarcastic. So <clears throat> when people leave comments like that, I've always taken it in a joking matter. Oh, I never take it serious. That's good. I never take life serious. I treat life like a game. Um, I, I don't really care what people say. There's been very minimal comments that have kind of gotten to me. And like I sit there and think about it for a bit. But I mean, it's not a big deal to me. Yeah. I feel like I've built up a lot of like thick skin, especially growing up, like I didn't get bullied in school, but I definitely had, like, my fair share of getting picked on. So over time, you kind of just get, like, you build up a little barrier for things that people say. Yeah. You kind of have to take it to heart. You How have a you? very thick skin. Yeah. Like, very thick skin, and it's built up mine because yours is so good. Like, it takes a lot to, like, really make me mad, if like, verbally if you're going to say something. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you have to get thick Yeah. on, on YouTube and on any social media. Like, the comments are insane. The stuff Brit has to deal with being a, a female, like, the comments are unreal. Is it just like sexually based or? It, it like, can be. Yeah. It can be, but uh, it's just like crazy what these people will say to a female. What, just like, like nitpicking comments, I guess? Anything. Yeah. Anything and everything. Should I read some comments? <laughs> <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> no, most, most of it, we've been blessed with love. But like the kind of what you just said of like uh, taking as a joke or not caring, I think that's such a hard thing for people to do is to not yeah. care because I, I say I don't care mm -hmm. but then I read like 100 great comments and then one bad comment and I'm like bro I'm deleting my channel bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's true I've been in those positions it's kind of like I guess it really depends on my state of mind for that day but yeah. most of the time I just I just try to brush it off because I like like you said you know if you have 100 good comments or one negative comment like it's bound to happen right yeah and majority of the time those people are probably just jealous of you in some way. They're just trying yeah. to depict you for something. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I don't really find it to be it, – it's probably just like a, like a jealousy thing. Yeah, and I think like uh, – I've said this many times, but if you're not getting any hate, you're not growing at all. Yeah. Like because we've, we've had plenty of times where it's all love and everything's just at a standstill yeah. or depleting. Um, so I embrace hate now because I'm like – they're talking about us. It's yeah. a good thing, I feel right? like that's kind of true because, like, <clears throat> during, like, our TikTok era, like, 2020, during COVID, we would get so many videos with, like, so much hate, but they would blow up. Yep. Yeah. Like, they would do so good just because of the hate. But look at the biggest people on social media and look at the hate. Dude, look at the yeah. Paul brothers. Yeah. yeah. People hate them, but they're bigger than all of us combined. Look do at they, the Tate brothers. Do you think they genuinely hate them, though? Like, I just think it's a lot of jealousy, honestly. I, okay, let's, like, if we took the actual number of people who genuinely despise and hate oh, them, yeah, yeah. like, you know, if there's I feel a, like it's big. I, <laughs> I feel know. like it's big, too. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's I people really that think just it is. Talk, I think when talk you're, crap, but if they genuinely met them in person. Oh, they want a picture yeah, exactly, so that's bad, what I'm saying. Bro. They yeah. want to, yeah. they want to. They want to get on that That's train. That's what I'm saying. Bro. Absolutely. 99% of yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there's that that little point one that's like, screw you, Jake Paul. Yeah. But like, dude, <laughs> it's not happening in public. Yeah. You know, unless, unless you're Floyd Mayweather. That's happened to me a few times. And like, <clears throat> I don't know. Some, some kid was like yelling out his car window and saying something like derogatory towards me. So I, I literally just like ran up on his car. And he's like, oh, I'm just joking, man. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Take a picture, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when did you get started on YouTube? Like what was your first video or like what made I was, you start? It finally nine, happened. <laughs> I was nine years old and <clears throat> I had this thing called an action replay. It was like a device you can use on like your Game Boy or your Nintendo DS. And I was playing Pokemon and I kind of just like did this little cheat code. I like edited one of the codes and it got me this like level 200 Pokemon. And the max level is like 100. So I posted that. It did well. I got like half a million views in like a year or something. I was like, whoa, like I came back. I was like, oh, that's surprising. So then I would always watch YouTube videos. I watched people like Smosh and just like other creators around that time. Um, you know, Shane Dawson, Ray William Johnson, all them. And I thought it was really cool and interesting. interesting. So um, I started making my own content. I started getting into like video games. So I did, um, you know, a commentary channel for like Call of Duty. 
And then I had like a Call of Duty community clips channel. I grew those to about like 10K. And then I came out with like a challenge channel for me and my friends. We would post, um, you know, eating raw eggs and like hot pepper challenges, gallon of milk challenge, stuff like that. Um, grew that to about 25,000 subs and then Vine came out. And that's kind of like where I really, really took my big leap and, and took off. Um, started like making prank videos on my grandma, just doing like little skits and stuff like that. And then I grew that to about like six and a half mil before they shut down. Uh, but before that, I started vlogging like a like a year or two before Vine took a crap. Nice. I started vlogging and that kind of took off, too. And then I just built up all my other socials. How's grandma? She's good. She's good. She's really good now. She There was a time period last year where she was in the hospital for like four or five months. She got hit with everything at once. Jeez. She had, you know, COVID, sepsis, a kidney stone. Um, she had one more thing. Do you remember? She had everything. She had everything. Oh, yeah. no. It was yeah. so bad. She went through a really bad period, but she's been great ever since. So. Yeah. She's a legend on the internet, man. She's God. amazing. She's hilarious. Genuinely, in real life, she gets scared over anything. <laughs> I can walk in the room, and I, I put on my Snapchat a lot too, or in, in my vlogs. I walk in the room, and I'll just say boo. And, like, do you know anybody that genuinely gets scared over the word boo? She does. It's so weird. She's jumpy. Yes, yeah. very Perfect jumpy. Perfect for pranks. Perfect it's for probably pranks. my fault. I don't think she was always like She's that. She's always on edge, dude. Yeah, I think so. She really is. So I I'm sorry, Grandma, if you're watching this. Um, it's probably my she fault. She seems awesome. Never met. And somehow somehow we never met. Like, yeah. that's pretty wild to Us? me. Because, yeah. We've, we've met. We've met very briefly. Where? Um, okay, so you probably don't remember. I definitely don't remember. Playlist I I Live years ago okay it was around the time uh it might have been like about maybe six months to a year after you posted uh the ball pit video oh, okay and you had the the gtr situation yeah and i asked you about it it was a very brief conversation and then um 1600 vine you were going to the Fousies. Okay. He, he lived right next door to me. Okay. You were passing by. And we, I just said, like, what's up? Like, very briefly. Okay, I do remember that. Very Dang, brief I remember that hallway. Yeah. Everybody lived there. It was, like, my college. I've like never gone to college. You, whoever's, you can just pick a random door and somebody there was a vine, popular yeah. is going to answer the door. There was a Viner living there. Yeah. Dude, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, so it was, this was expensive, too, right? How mm -hmm. much was that a month? I got I got a three-bedroom. It was very expensive. It was the most I've ever paid for an apartment in my life. It was um, 6500 a month. Imagine what that is now. Oh, my God. It's probably like eight. Easily. Yeah. Easily. We had a little place in Beverly Hills. It was like a two bedroom. It was like. But it had a balcony. It was like this big. It was like 5,500 a month. Yeah. yeah. And it was like crazy. We didn't stay long. Well, we're used yeah. to Ohio, right? Yeah. We have big yards and big freedoms. And, and it was like we're now in this apartment yeah. uh, above a parking garage. You feel like you're in like a little cage. And it was like this cost. Four times what our house costs. It's insane. Come on, it's crazy. Dude. Yeah, it's wild. So, uh, do you have some questions? She yeah. asked Snapchat. She yeah. said you were coming. So, if you have some questions, I um, I think the question sounds fun. You guys, let us know in the comments if if you'd like us to start hitting you up with the guest. I like the guest to be a surprise. Like I do. I yeah. like it to be like they don't know who the guest is. But I think there's a and also a fun side of knowing who the guest is. And yeah, it definitely hypes them up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, Joey wants to know, how much can you deadlift? <laughs> I just recently started deadlifting, actually. Um, <clears throat> can't do the math in my head. What's a, what is it, 345? Three 345s and a 25 on each side. What and then that? plus 35 is the bar, that's right? 345. So that's 90, 180. Um, 180 plus, that's, I don't know. Oh. Somebody do the math. Let's real add quick. it up. I think it's 700. <laughs> Wait, yeah, it's 700. 700. Oh my God. <laughs> what? I would literally break my back. Okay, so we got 45 times six. That's serious guy. Plus 45 plus 50. All so 365, it's not that much, honestly. That's like, good. Keep in mind, I just yeah. started deadlifting. Um, I don't, somebody probably asked, like, oh, how much do you bench too? Like, I don't typically like normal bench press. I like doing dumbbells, but yeah. I can do 120s on each side. It is weird that there's That's certain big. workouts that are just what's your number, yeah. right? It is kind of strange, yeah. right? I, so I do a ton of stuff in the gym that has nothing to do with weights. Yeah. So people are like, how much can you bench? I'm like, I have no idea. I don't really bench press, yeah. right? But I feel like, um, you know, most of the time when I get asked those questions, mm. it's usually like a, a younger kid kind of like starting to like, like work out. I feel like the people that have been working out for a long time don't really ask those questions because they know um, it, it doesn't always come down to the weight. Like you could build more muscle just doing, uh, you know, maybe 70 pounds instead of 100 pounds right. and getting more reps. You know what I mean? You're yep. like repping out 15, 20 reps instead of like three reps with 100. Yep. So 
Yeah, a lot of those times I feel like I'm getting those questions from like uh, the younger gang. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's fun to know, but yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have my answer either. I like being strong, but I don't like overdo it to the point where I feel like I'm going to hurt myself. Yeah. You, you, are you lined up or you want me to keep going? <laughs> you can keep going. I'm trying to find. <laughs> so you had, you had merch for a long time, yeah? Yeah. Do you stop merch? Yeah, it did really well. I, um, That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Because, right? I mean, merch is, I tell every, like, anybody listening, watching right now, do merch. If you're doing anything, do merch. It is, it is free money. Your supporters want to support you through your merch. Like, it's a win-win for everybody. And if you make really cool stuff, you know what I mean? People are going to want to wear it. Absolutely, man. I, I mean, everybody knows Smile More. Smile More was a, it was a very big brand, and, um, and I just, I try to coach everybody. Like, if you're doing anything on the internet, just do merch. Yeah. Like, money on the table. It's true. Uh, it did really well. Um, of course, when I stopped vlogging as much. Yeah. I don't promote it as much, so yeah. it doesn't do as well. But, um, it did. It did the first year. It it did amazing. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god! I didn't think I could do that well. <laughs> yeah, and that stacked on top of your AdSense, exactly. stacked on top of brands. Yeah. It's like it's it's disgusting. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah, I remember the first time I ever brought um, a contract to my parents. I was very young. Must have been like twelve years old. I was like, oh, I can get paid to you know make YouTube videos. They're like, what? No, this seems this doesn't seem right. Yeah. And then they got like a lawyer and they talked about it. They're like, oh no, do it, do it. And then I think I was like thirteen or fourteen years old. I had like one month where I made like ten grand. My parents were like, you're making more than we make in a month. Like that hasn't that that any crazy? sense. Yeah. Bro, like crazy. kids now are making so much money. It's insane. And you don't even have to pop off really to make that kind of money. You could just like, have a couple of videos blow up or something. You yeah, know? it's like and just go viral on like a couple of different platforms. Depends it's, how viral, but it's wild. Yeah, and then you start stacking things. Yeah, like different businesses, merch. It just all piles up, dude. It's really like this guilty, guilty money almost. Like at a point, like we were making so much money on YouTube, it was like, this is there's gonna be like laws on this, dude. <laughs> it, no. No kid should be able to make this much, this kind of money. Yeah. Right? That's what it felt like. It was like, oh my God. It definitely wild. can be insane. Wild times. Like YouTube opened so many doors for so many people. That's true. It's wild. Like it changed our life forever. So it's funny because I, I was at a point where I was making a lot. And then I was also investing a lot into my videos. Um, and then it got to the point where the ad apocalypse happened. Oh, and man. And I was spending more of my videos than I was making off yeah. them. So I was like, oh, I got to take a huge step back. That's us right now on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're spending more on each episode than we're making right now. Yeah. And wow. it feels weird because I, I haven't done that since we started YouTube. Yeah. So it's like I'm literally starting over, brand new channel. But, you know, the hope is, you know, obviously these videos continue to get <laughs> views over time. Yeah. You know what I mean? You make the viral TikTok clips or whatever. Yeah. You know? I mean, Obviously, TikTok yeah. doesn't pay a lot, but over time, like all these platforms could eventually add up to. I think for us, it's like, well, at least for me, it's about doing things I enjoy now. Exactly. Like, yeah. like, like I'm trying to make the podcast my passion project, yeah. not my financial motivator. It's not my successful. Like, it's fun for me. I really enjoy this, and I know Britt really enjoys it too. <laughs> <laughs> I've been like literally taking applications for a new host. <laughs> There's no it's podcast without passion. her. Like it's it's her and I. The comments yeah. on the the last video that we did. Yeah. Uh, not the last video, but the last video we posted of everyone saying that there's no show without me like there is no show because i am not gonna do it so sweet. Yeah. it everyone was so sweet yeah. i'm like okay i told you i can do this you need the viewers to tell you i've been telling you the whole time sometimes their reassurance is is better yeah <laughs> right yeah it is nice how did you guys meet instagram I feel god like that's you gotta stay off thing. instagram dude. <laughs> she slid my dms hard. bro it's Dang. the only thing that he got off instagram that wasn't broken <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't want you to say that. Actually? Yeah. Yeah. You went to him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he didn't respond to mine. So good for you. <laughs> I got the response. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did that, that so how's that go down? Tell me. I think I what did I slide up on like a selfie or something? Yeah, I forget exactly what it was. It was like a selfie of you like laying down in bed or something. Oh, <laughs> you got her with She like complimented. She called me like cute or something. I can't really yeah. remember. And then like mm -hmm. I, I saw it and um I had like Asked for our Snapchat. Yeah. And then, because I, I, like, I obviously want to see what she looked like or whatever. <laughs> um, and then, well, more than what I could see on you know, just like her Instagram photos. Right. And then we started talking and then we decided to just like hang out a couple days later. Um, and then. So this all happened quick. Yeah. yeah pretty it quick. It kind of just stuck for like three months. We like 
talking stage, I guess you could <laughs> yeah. say. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so was the photo, was it clickbait or did you, did, did, <laughs> was it actually Lance? <laughs> It was me with like a, me. it was me with the the, the, the sexy man fil- face filter. Yeah, right, right. Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, I, that filter is wild. Holy crap! It's crazy. I could have looked like that. That's when I pulled that filter up. I'm like, I could have looked like that. Yeah, right. Oh, I don't. Shame. Another lifetime. <laughs> Another lifetime. God, so that's how it works now. It's just Instagram. I think that's the new way. I feel like everybody's Yo, eating your, on Instagram. What's your Snapchat? <laughs> I didn't even have a cell phone my senior year of high school. It was no. no cell phones. I can't remember when I got mine. Some people had the big car phone. Yeah, I got like the little flip phone. <laughs> for, I don't even know what it was called. I'd be wild to be in high school now. Yeah. I always had a phone in high school. I'm kind of <sighs> grateful the way I grew up, though. Like, Oh, yeah, um, for sure. It, it, was, it was nice to not have that. Now it's just like everyone's on their phone addicted. And like I like yeah. having that little separation. Yeah. It probably would have been a blast like living in my, my parents' era and not having all the stress right. and competition that you have on social media. Because... A lot of the stuff is like overly edited pictures of people. It, it doesn't give like a, a true perception. So, yeah, like that's true. It's butterflies on your nose. <laughs> like, I, I at least like to make yeah. them look. I, I at least like if I use one, it's like this is clearly not real. I can't imagine being pretty and using a filter. Like I can understand me using a filter, right? But like to be pretty and a filter is like. I use like the ones that make you like tanner because I just like I'm so pale, so I'm like I want to be tanner. So it doesn't really like change your appearance, but. Do you think we all just are beginning to not like how we look because of all this options? Well, right? Definitely. Like, definitely. It's very I possible. I feel like, yeah. I, I just think a lot. it's very easy to compare yourself with other people as well. And then yeah. when you see these overly edited photos of people, you're like, oh, my God, how are they so perfect? Why do they look like that? Why don't I? You know, just an easy comparison. It kind of like yeah. makes people depressed. Bro, you used to do these. Uh, I don't know. You, do you ever do you ever talk fake pranks? At all, I feel like, like we have can. to get on that topic, right? Sure. Well, I mean, I mean, it's just a title and thumbnail at least. <laughs> I, I like, I like that, and and this is God's honest truth. We have plenty of fake pranks. We have plenty of real pranks, and I love to this day that n- nobody can tell me which ones is real and fake. In fact, some of our most real pranks get called fake, and some of our fakest pranks get called real. And I still love. The mystery. I'm sure eventually on a podcast, I'm just going to spill it all. But I still <laughs> <Don't> love <do> it. <laughs> I still love that. Oh, and by the way, everybody knows they're fake, right? Mm-hmm. But if I said they were, they'd be like, oh my God, what? Yeah, yeah. So it's one of them things. But like, we earned it real. I will say that. We did the courthouses. We did the arrest. We did real pranks till we were very, very popular, right? But it doesn't take long for you to realize like, we could probably just make this in like 30 minutes if yeah. we faked it, right? Yeah. I'm like, but dude, you did some of these ghost ones, bro. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> <Some of> these <laughs> ghosts, bro, these ghost videos, dude. I need to hear about this. I just turned into one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm back. Let's get into it. Is this like the mystery? Uh, well, that's not a prank. No, but I remember seeing these thumbnails. The Ouija bro. boards. People were breaking it's these down. It's sketch comedy, right? <laughs> People were breaking these down frame by frame by frame. You don't have to Did say it's Ace real. Ace took a whole video. And he's like, Lance Stewart has to stop. It's got like 20 million views. Bro, you're <laughs> just depicting me. And I'm sitting here like, he's crushing it. Who cares? He's crushing it. People are entertained. Who cares, right? I still to this day say the fact that they were real or fake is what made them popular. Everybody's, it's, this They're is arguing. why it's real. This is why it's fake. No, it's real. No, it's fake. And the views are just climbing and the comments are piling. And <laughs> to me, that was the art of it. It was, it was, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because people are freaking entertained. Mm-hmm. Dude, you got a Facebook now. Every single video is fake. Every video is fake, bro. Like painful to watch fake. Facebook? Fake. Yeah. Fake book. Yeah. Right? It's, but, book. it's painfully. <laughs> but nobody it, cares. They got 20 million views. Nobody gives a that's rip. That's true. Everybody's getting paid. These guys are laughing. Who gives a rip? I see a lot of the like fake Karen videos. People are just making yeah. videos like recording these old women. Yeah. But it's clearly staged. But, but, but just like harassing people. But like the the older person watching that just laughs, yeah. dude. They don't know it's fake and nobody cares. Yeah, what Karen care. agrees to that though? Like – what old ladies like, yeah, like yeah, they're like, oh, public? you'll put my yeah, yeah. Gonna, oh, I want a million people seeing my face. Yeah. I don't know, maybe they get paid off. I have no idea. I would never agree to that. Well, yeah, I wouldn't either. Yeah. <laughs> Some people just don't care. People I guess. want fame yeah. too, you know. Yeah, yeah like, or maybe just a hundred dollars. <laughs> so I've, I've I've always I mean I remember being on, 
I remember being on like Zoom call, maybe not Zoom calls, Google or something back then of like with news companies, like tell us, is it real or is it fake? And I'm just like, <laughs> that's the beauty of it. That question is what's making my videos so viral. Yeah. Because you don't know. Yeah, figure it out. You, you everybody know. knows, but they don't. They don't. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. And, it, and that's the mystery. So I've always been like cautious of what I say, real or fake. I love the mystery. So yeah. I can agree with you on the, the one thing you said, like, um, you know, obviously there's some videos, like, for example, there are some videos of mine that are clearly scripted, like clear. Some people are still going to question, oh, is this real or fake? It's clear as day. Yeah. Um, and then I have a lot of real videos as well. But I got, I feel like I get more comments on the real one saying, oh, this is definitely fake. And yeah. I'm like, well, no. some are too good to be true. Yeah, that's I mean, true. We pulled off some pranks that were too good to be true. Yeah. And even you're sitting there like. It looks fake, bro. Yeah. Like, it's too good. I've had a lot of videos where I'll get, like, a genuine real reaction, and it's it's amazing. And then just something goes wrong where, like, I wasn't recording or just, like, I end up losing the footage, something yeah. like that. And then I'm like, oh, dude, I really don't want to have to, like, reshoot this and try and fake it. Yeah. There's been a few times where I have, but, like, if I can get that genuine reaction, especially from my grandma because she's so jumpy. <laughs> it, 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 like, she's an easy target. She's an easy yeah, target. She's and then really if I is. try to get her to script something, it's it's not nearly as good. Yeah. So it's better to just get, like, a genuine reaction from her. Right on. Yeah. So these ghost videos, bro. <laughs> what about them? No, what was the He's board? trying to get a TikTok clip right now, <laughs> right? What are the boards? <laughs> what happened? But, no, you were you were riding this ghost wave for a long time. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's wild to me. Yeah, dude, the ghost. People ate it up. Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so genuinely, while I was doing that series, there was like weird things actually happening, mm -hmm. and like I think I was so, I was so um, absorbed by everything just be becoming content that the things that I genuinely probably would have gotten scared about, like now, I, they didn't creep me out that back then because it just felt like everything was just like yeah. this, like. It just it just felt like everything was like the scripted reality. Just Bro, you don't think Ghost Hunter sets up stuff? Oh, 100%. You don't think all the, like, 100%. it's entertainment. It's a, yeah. That's the part that's yeah. like, I guess as an entertainer, maybe it's easier to see. It's kind of like killing your kid prank, right? <laughs> so, imagine that now. Imagine no, that now. It'd be flagged instantly. Yeah. It'd be flagged instantly. Yeah. Like, it would never work. I, I mean, I literally blew up a quad with a, a kid on it. Yeah. That How's that video still up? Is it still up? I don't know. I haven't seen the prank channel for a long time. I have a video though. of me like laying on the floor with just covered in blood with a knife just like next to me. Like, <laughs> dude, I, I, it, it got flagged after a couple of years, but mm. now like they wouldn't even allow that. Yeah, it's weird. You can now go like every once in a while, just hit like the vlog channel and go like the ones that are demonetized. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God, yeah. dude, it's pages and yeah, pages same. and pages. That was and a couple like, hundred videos. I have like yeah. over a thousand, two hundred videos or something. I definitely got like four, five hundred demonetized. Wow. <laughs> About half of them are demonetized. Yeah, I mean, dude. granted, my clickbait, right? Sometimes I, mean, I think I think it's 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 a wave, and mm -hmm. you wrote it, yeah, and you wrote it well, and you're not done. You're on new waves. You're Snapchatting. Your uh, TikToks yeah. go vi crazy viral. Yeah, I don't um, I don't really post on there as much anymore. We we kind of rode that wave um, for like about a year and a half, two years. TikTok. Yeah, this is around yeah. the time when I first met her. I'm like, yo, we're gonna do this. And we're just gonna destroy it, and we did. We killed it. It was like all like during COVID. When mm. COVID first started, I was getting like a million subs a month. It was insane. Whoa. I'm at like 22 mil right now, but oh I've kind of stayed God. there for like the past like year. That's I haven't insane. really been posting. TikTok's so crazy. Man. It is insane. It's so fun. We were posting it like really three is. times a day. It was just, just crazy. Yeah. Them. Oh my gosh. And that is fun. That like, was like, that's all there was to do. Just chill at home, just chill make, at TikTok. home and make TikToks. Yeah. yeah. And you get I that momentum, pregnant. dude, and you're just like <laughs> in that, in that, that mind space yeah. and you're just like, all right, I could do this, gotta do that. And you're just like yeah. constantly just pumping yeah. out content. That's awesome. Well, it's all making sense now, dude. You're 26. Like I had unlimited energy, mm -hmm. like unlimited. So I get it. I get the grind still. Thanks mm -hmm. for telling him that he's young because he thinks he's old. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm old. I think there was a point where like I hit like 25, 26 years old. I'm like, oh, okay. Reality's kind of setting yeah. in a bit. I'm definitely getting older. Wait, it kind of just feels 30. like I was... <laughs> I mean, it never stops, right? Yeah, my, my friend just turned Wait till you turn 50. He feels the same way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's amazing, dude. Um, I didn't even have a career at all. I, I started YouTube at... 25? 26? 26, dude. Wow. Yeah. That's when I started. Wow. Dude, you were doing wow. it at nine? Bro, there was yeah. no social media until... Gosh, I don't even know how old I was. Before it was, like, popular. It's crazy. MySpace. MySpace, dude. 
Zanga. I remember grinding MySpace. <laughs> yeah. I was on it. I didn't post anything. It was just like friends, but. No, it was just getting nuked with music artists yeah. all day. Listen to my band. Listen to my band. Yeah. That's what it turned into. I wasn't so. around for that. No. She was, she I'm was 22. 2000s. 2000. Yeah. That was in 1996. Yeah. Dang. Babies up in the yeah. house, dude. Good for you guys, Thanks. man. I have Six a question. Um, so for me growing up, you know, I'd say uh, maybe not as much now, but I've always been like very like somewhat socially awkward. Like I'm just not great in like social settings unless like someone's coming up to me. Like I can always hold a conversation, but somebody always had to like start it with me. Right Did on. you feel as if you were similar or no? No, but I grew up in sales. Okay. Like as a little boy, dude. Yeah. Like every week in flea markets, selling ropes, selling toys, selling whatever we had at the house. Like, okay. So as a little kid, I just I just grew up talking to adults. Yeah. So I think it made me. Yeah, that makes sense. Did you go homeschool or public school? No, public. Okay. I, I just, I was always like a, like a, kind of like an awkward kid growing up. But I feel like a lot of, so, the reason I asked that, I feel like a lot of social media, media people are kind of like that. Like a lot of them are like very to themselves, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I, and I feel like, you know, social media always gives them like a platform to express themselves. True. Right? So I feel like that's why they gain these followings. Because a lot of people are probably <laughs> like that deep down that they can relate to these people. So. I've definitely ran into many social media stars that are. Like, oh, I'm just awkward in person. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. I don't want to do the podcast because I can't really communicate oh, well. And I'm like, really? Wow. Like, you would kill it. But yeah. then you look at them on camera and they're like yeah. the most energetic, like outgoing person ever. It's awesome to have yeah. that outlet. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we want a few people like that. Yeah. It's, it's like, like a different person on camera and then you're like off camera. And it's like The camera's always made me feel more comfortable. I don't know. You like, talk a lot more a lot when you're more. filming. Even like having conversations with my family, I just feel like I'm g- more genuinely like, I guess in a way inclined, obviously, because I'm recording, but I feel like I... You like try to conversate yeah. a little bit more, like yeah. think of things. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I just don't try as hard when I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. You're I, always in your little head. Yeah. Working. Work yeah. mode. Yeah. Numbers are going around. <laughs> it's Steam's all this coming numbers, out. numbers, just zeros and ones. Seriously. I feel like I'm most like myself on the podcast, but definitely the vlogs, I was always amped up, more mm-hmm. energy, hyper, like, like, and maybe I was, I was younger, but like now I feel like this is really me. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm just hanging out, That's chilling, good. but the vlog dude is like, what's up guys? Exactly. Like, you have to. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. yeah. You got to go hard. Yeah. That's exhausting. It so is. It sounds like. I mean, I'm sure you know the grind. I was the same way. I would I would pick up the camera at like 9, 10 a.m., vlog the entire day, edit for like three hours, pass out, and do it again. I felt like a robot. Yeah. And and the worst is when it's like 5 p.m. and you haven't started. Oh, my God. Yeah. You're like, oh, my God, I got to make a video, bro. Dude, it's been like 9 p.m. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God, I got to start. And then I'll end up getting like a 40-minute vlog. I'm like, how did this even happen? Yeah. It was so random, but it was a grind, dude. And I don't know how I did it, but I, I felt like genuinely felt like a robot. Yeah. Do you know how many days you vlogged in a row? 550. Wow. I think yeah. I did like 800. It's crazy. Wow, every day. It's crazy. Dude. Did you ever have to like hide whether it was like dark or light outside? Um, we did that. Like we'd like have to film in the basement. Oh and really? Like, oh, and, and I it probably did, did. And it didn't matter. I think right. it was just us. Yeah, We're maybe like, that well, was like a mental was, thing. If it was just daytime and now it's nighttime, that doesn't make sense. So yeah. let's just make it daytime. Oh, I got you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I th- I th- there's probably been a few times where I've just like rearranged clips or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, oh, this should probably be. In- yeah. Now that I think about it, I don't know why we would have cared about that, but we did. Yeah. I think it messed the flow up. We yeah. wanted the viewers to feel like they were with us all day. Yeah. And when it was sense. like, we vlogged in the morning and then we didn't vlog again until 10 p.m. It was like, uh, mm-hmm. it was just light out. Can we They're going to know. Five more minutes. So dumb. <laughs> did you ever try and hire an editor? Towards the end. Yeah, towards the like last year or two, mm-hmm. but I did it all. Yeah, every same. prank, every vlog. I yeah. had an editor for a couple brief periods of times, and every single time it would just cause me more frustration and agony because yeah. you know daily vlogging. Obviously, I'd get my video up by a certain time. Yeah, there's no time for day. correction. Yeah, so like I'd get my video back late, and then I have to like, oh, you messed up this edit, this edit. I'm like, I get to the point where it's like it was causing me more stress than it was benefiting me. Yeah. So. I just had to do it, do it on my own. I think we also, I don't I don't know if it was for you, but it was so frowned upon if you had an editor. Yeah, it was. It, was, it like, was. Dude, he's got an editor. It doesn't count. Yeah. But, but now it's like if you don't have an editor, you're unprofessional. Mm-hmm. It's weird how things flip, bro. Remember yeah. how remember how like frowned upon it was if you had a brand deal? Yeah. People but, don't really care anymore. Now it's like whatever, dude. That's yeah. how they, whatever. It's like every, Skip. Skip. Basically, almost every other vlog that I post has a deal in it now. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think our last 20... Has had three. Yeah. But according to the viewer, every vlog has a Yeah, they'll think it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
But it's all right. It's whatever, bro. <laughs> I'd be hating too. So, so something that I know a lot of people were asking about, which we can totally not talk about if you guys totally don't want to, but how is it living on camera, or going to TikTok or everything when all of your last relationship is on the internet? Like, does that affect you guys? Or like how, what's your thoughts on? So I don't personally let it affect me. I mean, I'm not really sure how... Um, Julia totally feels about it. I, we've had conversations about it, but yeah. I mean, if, I if think it was explain. definitely hard in the beginning for sure, but now we're like, we're yeah. good. <laughs> I think it's something you get used to. And obviously, yeah. like being yeah. fresh in a relationship, <laughs> obviously, and seeing, you know, comments about like, you know, your ex or something could definitely be like annoying. Um, oh, I bet there's a long period of that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think over time, you know, obviously, the more people get to know Julia and know, know like her personality. Like, see my personality and stuff. Yeah. I just see her in front of the camera more often. Like, they, it, it, it's definitely dwindled out. And I think, you know, people have really they grew They come to, like, to her. accept it. Yeah. 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 And I think definitely TikTok helped a huge way too, because dude, you know, for sure. growing yeah. basically, it was almost like growing an entire new audience, like 22 million people. That's insane. Like, that was like, I think, like, I've had. I've had like three peaks in my career and it was Vine and then it was YouTube, like kind of like Fruit Ninja and Ouija board days. And then TikTok was explosive. Yeah. And you were in that wave <clears throat> mm -hmm. and that was the most recent wave. So I think, you know, it, it definitely helped. A nice reset. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah for He's sure. taken over. <laughs> <laughs> He's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I know for us, like, obviously he was married before and I'm so thankful that like you guys didn't have videos and like stuff like that together. But I feel like it's still so awkward. Before like social at, media. At family yeah. gatherings. And it's like, oh, this was Roman's old wedding picture. And I was like, oh, wait, that's not our wedding. Okay. It's just weird. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely weird. It's almost like, it's like if you took our situation and like put it on steroids, it's, it's Justin Bieber and, and Haley. Yeah, that's oh kind of what gosh. we compare it to. But like obviously they're just like on steroids can you imagine oh my god i couldn't i couldn't i feel bad for the both of them that's i uh, yeah i feel so bad so that, are you that team kind Haley of or team, team <laughs> <laughs> you said something in a recent vlog i watched it and the comments were just like oh we didn't even know we, oh, shot, that that you said, we shot that vlog that was, before and yeah. then it went up the next day after that happened we're like oh god here we go, <laughs> oh my here we go. i came back to look at the comments because i was curious to know if anybody commented about it came back the next day <laughs> well i wear like all rare beauty love her stuff love her i don't know i feel bad for both of them yeah i can't really choose a side i guess yeah i'm team Haley. <laughs> Canceled. Just more comments. No, I definitely she do really love Haley, though. She really wants off the podcast, dude. She really wants. You're getting booted. Right? I still don't know what happened, but I, I'll, I'm sure it was... It's it's crazy. Oh, you watch one thing on TikTok, your whole For You page will be yeah. the that drama. Like he learned it in literally a day, yeah. like everything that was going you on. You watch one thing, and you get recommended yeah. everything about it. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, all right. I yeah, try to stay crazy. off TikTok. I feel bad for him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't watch that many TikToks anymore. I used to watch a lot. I get drowned in for like an hour. Yeah, or I'm two. addicted to reels on Instagram. Oh, really? That one gets me. My oh, mom funny. loves watching those. She's obsessed with them. I think they're all the same. It's just whatever platform you prefer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I feel like Instagram serves me a little better. I think yeah. TikTok's smarter. Tick yeah, TikTok, TikTok's you just keep like, up look with the trends. trends. Yeah. <laughs> look at me. Ah. No, I'm and then, mine. And then I put up one video of Mine's a like guys, kid like, on an. Working. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I've seen that guy. I know what you're talking about. I'm hating on it because I'm jealous, bro. Like, <laughs> These girls get away with murder, bro. And I put up every single video I put on TikTok has been taken down. Yeah. Everything, bro. Everything. I have RC car with a kid flagged instantly. And it'll have 2 million views in eight hours. Yeah. And I'm like. I've got a lot of videos flagged. A lot of sounds removed. It's, it's, it's very annoying. It's so frustrating. And. And then I'm, as I'm scrolling, I'm seeing, how is this on here? How yeah. is this on here? How yeah, is this on here? Yeah, you question. Here? You're like, how is that like still on there? <clears throat> so I did a um, like a fake ball, ball sack prank, <laughs> right? <laughs> and we're like literally like it's, it's you know, it's pretty edgy. Um, it, it, it blew up. It got like 40 million views in like the first day. And then Jeez. they took it down. It was down for like five days. And then I kept appealing it. And eventually it just got put back up. Dude, it, it, it's got like 200 to 230 mil now, which is crazy. It's oh my most my viewed TikTok. God. But the fact that they took it down for five days and then reinstated it and it hasn't been taken down since is crazy to me. But it's just exactly what you were saying. Like, like how does this content still stay there? Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Hmm. Dude, I think somebody at TikTok doesn't like me. I don't know. I mean, you've said a lot of bad things about TikTok. Always. I talked You wanted crap to make TikTok. a shirt with like a screw and. TikTok. Oh, yeah. Screw TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> 
Which is weird because our podcast does very well on TikTok. Yeah. Like, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know, man. We all have our... It depends who's working, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Who's reading these reports <laughs> that people are making. Bro, I don't know. I don't know if the Chinese even know who I am. Think? <laughs> I've been to China a couple of times. How is it? I've never Amazing. been. I want to. I want to go. Oh, it's so cool. I think yeah. they opened a, what was it, like a Super Mario World or something. Seems That's cool. Japan, I is think, it? right? Yeah. You might be right, actually. I want, yeah, I want to go to Japan. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. super, I want to go to Japan. <laughs> have you ever That's been to Dubai? The go there and get married. Yeah, we have. Dude, I want to go so bad. Yeah. I sick? proposed to her in China, actually. Oh. Yeah. In Sanya. Sanya. It's a little island, like, south of China. They opened um, an Atlantis there, and they sent us as, like, the, a media crew, so it was, like, shut down. Oh, sick. Yeah, we're like was, testing the water rides, dude. Wow. That's like, really I didn't know. Scary. I didn't know they had to test water rides. Oh, sick. I didn't know they had to figure out how much water to shoot down these slides. So we're there testing them. It was chaos. Wow. Water rides are kind of scary, especially when they're yeah. not tuned. Yeah. <laughs> it just <laughs> slips off the rail. Bro, like, they're the just like testing how much water do we need to shoot? How much like? <laughs> like how much do you weigh? Like, oh, go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. It was so fun. Yeah, that's gotta be yeah, cool. Yeah, China, Dubai is epic. Yeah. Have you been? I want to go to Dubai so bad. Never been to China. Um, we're going to be going to Greece later this year. Oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah. Never been. I've never been. Never been so to Greece. Be fun. She yeah, actually got that for me as my birthday present, birthday present last get, year. Yeah. But we uh, we had to reschedule it because we already had Playlist Live scheduled. Yeah. So then, because it was around the same time. Y'all, so. I'm starting to feel like I'm surprised you didn't reschedule me today. Why would I do that? I don't know. You rescheduled everything, dude. No. I would never. No, I was <laughs> yeah. hype. I was excited when you reached yeah. out. Yeah, I always uh, you'll you'll tweet on the other account and you'll be like your podcast account. Oh, and you'll yeah. be like, oh, who should we have as a guest? And I'm always getting tagged and people, you know. Yeah, no, oh, I we don't run that account. Yeah, I don't run. A uh, friend does though. Okay, yeah, it's, yeah. it's our account, but we don't yeah. we don't post or run any of the accounts, even the TikTok account. I don't. That's manage. probably best, honestly. Um, How do you guys feel about Playlist Live? Um, it was her first experience. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it, it was a cool experience. Is that the award show? What is that? No, no, playlist. Oh, playlist. Yeah. The old like. I say you've been. <laughs> everybody gets together. <laughs> I met we, you there. We kind of stopped going because like we felt so bad for the, like the people meeting us paid like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and we're like. Yeah, and you know, playlist doesn't pay you anything. Yeah, no, right? or yeah. at least back then. Sometimes they don't even pay for your flight to come out. But we actually <laughs> yeah. would go out there and not know. Like the early days that they were paying that much, bro. We were like, how much did you pay to meet us? They were like, like, oh, what? this is my so, Christmas and birthday present. What? I'm I was like, like I'll just do a meet and oh greet out God. in the park. Yeah. Yeah. And it's only so, like like 10 seconds, really, with some people. Mm -hmm. And they, they like, like push them through. Oh, yeah, you get pushed through, yeah. too. Yeah, they're like, go, go. So we like, just started to feel bad. And and uh, there were some other weird things. that that's, They didn't like pranksters for a long time, which okay. understandable. Like, we we just brought a lot of chaos to the, the event. I don't know how it's run now, but... So I haven't it's been invited in a couple time. of years, maybe because of COVID. I'm not sure. But uh, we went this past year. It's just like every other year. It's chaotic. It's mild with people. 12-year-olds you know, drinking all night. Basically, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, yeah. when we went, there'd just be kids with alcohol. I'm like, oh, wow. my God. I think it's a cool experience, especially for Julia. First it was time. really fun to, like, see people that, like, through, like, TikTok era, whatever, COVID, like, so many people were blowing up just yeah. to see them in person. It's yeah, definitely cool. an amazing avenue. For social for, setting to like meet people, it's yeah, cool. to, to collaborate to it does give you that. Like we made like friends through it. It was fun. Yeah. But I completely agree with what you're saying, and I didn't know that either. And then, um, you know, we had a pretty big meetup group, probably one of the bigger ones, mm -hmm. and I felt so bad. Like people were just getting rushed through the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, I don't know how much these people are paying, but like they're you know, paying. They're definitely paying something. And like I just, I, I, I think it stuck out one time when there was this woman that came up to me. She didn't even know who I was. But she was just asking me questions like how to grow on social media. And then she said something. She's like, you are worth my money. And I was like, oh. I'm like, I didn't even think of it like that. I'm like, I, I didn't even real like, obviously you pay to go there. But I don't know. It drew like a weird perception in my head. And I kind of felt that same way. And I'm like, I see all these people getting rushed through. And I just feel so bad. Because genuinely, I do spend a lot of time, you know, not only take a photo, but oh, like yeah, have dude. real conversations. Well, and they also people. have like life-changing stories. Like, you've, you've saved my life. Yeah. And then you're yeah. like, and then I they're getting rushed through. You're like, hold up, hold up. I want to I hear this story. And. I yeah. feel like that's why a lot of creators like went out in the lobby and like and people can just, yeah, come up to you and you yeah, can just cool. talk like casually. Yeah. There's a similar situation. I had this girl completely decked out on my merch. She's like, yeah. you saved my life. You know, yeah. I, I love you, blah, 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 blah. And like, she's like getting a rough stare and I just feel so bad. Mm -hmm. She was at like the end of the line too. She purposely did that and like waited. So that probably wouldn't have happened to her. But the, the, the people are like, oh, we got to go. We got to move on to the next group. I'm like, Jeez. yeah, I just feel terrible. Yeah. I felt a little used after like the second, third time. You're like, wait. The owners of this event are making bank yeah, off us. and paying mm -hmm. nothing. Right? And not only yeah. that, 
weeks leading up to it, we're advertising it. We're going to be there, come, and not knowing everybody's buying these tickets. Dude, I purposely like, didn't advertise it. Yeah, purposely. They're like, hey, can you record this and tweet <clears throat> this and do this? And I just don't respond. But that's what all the uh, like streaming awards are. All that is built on us promoting it. Of course. Right? Like, yeah. I mean, the syndication, they get to run ads on this event based off us advertising it for what? Yeah. A little award? Yeah. Like, I've got multiple of them and the plaques have all fallen off. Like, yeah. it's, I don't know. I'm just getting old and boring. I remember it being very exciting and fun. Yeah, of yeah. course. It was fun for me. It was my first time. So yeah. No, I it's fun. definitely fun. She knew yeah. a lot of people there. There was a lot of people that yeah. didn't. Like, it made me feel like an old head. I was he like, was wow. like, I have no idea who these people are. He's just are. like all like TikTokers. And I'm like, yo, I feel like I watched a good fair share of TikTokers. But she gets like the challenges and the couples. Yeah. They're like couples, I get, yeah. I get the very like random stuff. Like, yeah. it's like gym content. It's like food. It's like... Uh, people like that random aren't advice, playlist. Motivation advice. It's not like... Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. not like... Uh, like It was always like that. Even in our prime, it'd be like just kids running around everywhere. Yeah. And you're like... These kids are probably famous, bro, and you don't you even no know. Idea. Yeah, and they're yeah. wasted. <laughs> yeah. bro, that, that place for a while, no doubt. There's no denying it. It was off the hook, like yeah. bad stuff. Mm -hmm. bro, them kids were not watched at all. No, definitely not. So, <laughs> shout out to playlist. Yeah, <laughs> I probably won't get invited back. Now. Oh <laughs> god, yeah, probably not. <laughs> I mean, we'll I don't be in know. Greece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we can't go anyway. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when are you guys going to Greece? September. Yeah, September. beginning of September. Heck yeah. Yeah, we just planned our flights, so it's official. I want to yeah. travel. I mean, we get to travel a little bit with the podcast now, but I want to travel. Yeah, you should. Yeah. yeah. Should. We will. It's been a while. We've got four, Since COVID, 14 we're like, kids. Bro. Can't it's got to be anywhere. tough with the kids, right? I want to talk about that. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, we definitely have kids. Yeah, how is it with four, four kids? Are you pregnant? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> That's such like a... He answered <laughs> so fast. I got to say no, because I don't... <laughs> he answered before I could even finish, bro. No. If you're no, pregnant no. in three months, I'm going to be Dude, really Dude, save it for the clickbait. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll no, go back no, no. to this clip. Yeah. Um, Lance Stewart's pregnant wife. Hopefully soon. <laughs> yeah? Are you, are you trying? No. I... I what are you I, waiting for? Do you need to know how to do it? Because I have a class that I oh, run... Oh, you'll teach me. Monday through Friday. You'll teach me. Yeah. This is, might, is this might be a little much for your you is know, he struggling? family friendly What's podcast. Going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I just... This is life, dude. I need some blue shoes. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. This is not sponsored. <laughs> we got our first sponsor of the podcast. No, definitely, not, definitely not. Um so I I've always wanted a child. Um I guess just uh, you wanna explain? Yeah, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> He's just passing it off. I just don't think I'm like ready like at this second. Yeah. That's all. I would definitely wait until you're ready, but wait till I you're have, about you're 60. never ready. I they have say, so many but... friends, family that are like in their thirties late 30s now that can't have kids mm -hmm. so it's like and hard, for, out. hard for me yeah. to say wait because if you're on birth control too long or if you do wait too long then i feel like it, it is gets a harder. struggle yeah mm -hmm. um yeah kids are amazing but they're also but definitely to your point like you'll never you'll never you'll never like fully know when you're there's ready. never yeah. a good or bad time to have a kid because yeah. yeah. once you have it you're like thank god we had this baby mm -hmm. and before you're like not ready for a baby. No, I'm yeah. excited. I think so. I'm going to be a great Oh, you guys dad. are going to have I'm so very, much fun. No, it'll be a lot of fun. Gives I'm, you so I am much excited. reason. Gives you yeah, so much true. life. It's There's like, a lot of uh, days where I've woken up where I feel like I lack a purpose. Yeah. Um, and I feel like a lot of the time mm -hmm. when that happens was genuinely like when I stopped vlogging. Um, I think when I'm actively yeah. like posting on socials, it makes me feel like I have a purpose, right? But I mean, other than that, I think, you know, having a kid would be just that much yeah. more like. Because um, it's all about them. Like. You, you, you just become like selfless it's all about yeah. them yeah you kind of lose yourself i feel like for a little while with one and two not so much the more you have the more you have no life let's <laughs> yeah yeah it's i like, bet it's 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 work but it's good work yeah they're constantly bugging you though it's it's <laughs> like uh look, look how much fun Can't you and your dad have, have had right it's like yeah yeah you definitely want to share that it's true leave this social media empire to somebody yeah. you're gonna give it to you. yeah yeah the kids yeah. The kids, bro, or yeah. something. There's yeah. a weird part of me that feels like, wow, like, I mean, ultimately I can't hide them, right? It's part of my life, but it's like, do I want them to, you know, go into this landscape of, you know, millions of people and I just on them all the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. So it's a little... I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, obviously it's inevitable, it's <clears throat> going to happen, but like, there is like that weird part that I think about, um, but yeah, I think it's, it's probably going to end up happening regardless. Do what breaks my heart now is that we live that life mm -hmm. every single day. But now 
the little ones like Cora, she's five and she has the people she loves to watch on the internet. And every okay. day she's like, dad, like, how come we can't film? Like, how come we don't film? And That's it crazy. It breaks wow. my heart. Cause I'm like, Whoa. I'm like, honey, we did a, we did this whole life before you were like at this age now. And now she wants to film every day. And I'm like, we just don't really do that That's anymore. That's cute. Aww. But it's so sad because she wants to film so bad. And oh, I'm wow. like, honey, like, uh, oh, I feel yeah. so bad. And the other kids were grown up with it. Here's my Snapchat. Go yeah. on. <laughs> and, and she really is a star, dude. Mm -hmm. Five-year-old just, like, she, she steals the show when yeah. she's on camera. And I'm just like, do I let her kind of have fun with it? Or is it like, protect her? You don't want this. Trust me. But at the same time, you know have a wildly successful especially first daughter right so yeah dude yeah. only daughter well at least you got some you know her older brothers to protect her when she grows up yeah you got that yeah. hopefully <laughs> it's yeah. not like you had a daughter first you know what i mean yeah dude my daughter's everything dude oh i bet everything mm -hmm. I, I i keep saying this to julia i feel like our first child is gonna be a, a girl i feel like it's gonna be a boy I what know. do you i want? don't know why I only wanted a boy. First two. I want a boy. Boy only. I was stressing. I want both. I want. I think. I think we want at least like two to three kids. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Two super fun and easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not outnumbered. I don't want just <laughs> one though. Definitely not. Yeah. 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 Definitely not just one. I feel bad. We have a little puppy. Her name's Hazel. She's the cutest thing ever. Well, she's but not like, a puppy, well, but like she's, she's a year yeah. old. Okay. She's but, a year old. But I feel bad. Like she doesn't have like a like a friend. So like she gets super yeah. excited when we go to like her parents because she gets to play with you know their <laughs> her parents, puppy or dog. Um. So I don't know. I feel like we should get her a little friend, but at I the know. same time, I feel like I know I want a fur baby. He wants an actual baby. Yeah. So. <laughs> I feel like if if we were in the situation with a child though, where it's like just one, I would just kind of feel bad. Like yeah, it was nice. Mm -hmm. I grew up with you know a sibling, one yeah. sister. So it, it was always nice having having a sibling. Oh, it's amazing. I only have one brother, and we're just best friends man it's that's the great. greatest thing it doesn't happen for everybody yeah sometimes yeah. you can be enemies my sister and i hated each other until some brother kill each other she so. had uh <clears throat> my first nephew that's and then awesome. i was her babysitter so she had to love me <laughs> <laughs> and now we talk every day but that's good it took a long yeah, that's time good. you but that's just growing up yeah, dude, yeah. My brother yeah. fought every day dude yeah. hated each other but it was love it was love yeah my he, sister picked on me a lot <laughs> dude she like ran over me one time you know, like that like the like the look <laughs> carts that you can drive they have like jeep ones and like random things yeah. that you can drive power she drove wheels. yeah the power wheels yeah she drove over me bro i'd love to see your thumbnail for that if you I have, if you're filming Dude, honestly i think my parents recorded it right so they have like old home videos my uh, dad was like vlogging before he's even like a thing you just walk around with a camera and like yeah. after home videos yep. and he recorded it it's hilarious it's hilarious <clears throat> the good old days yeah. bro i would yeah dude i remember youtube before were you on youtube before people were making money do you remember that stage? Yeah, but I wasn't like I wasn't like popping per se. That's like yeah. when I was making those like Pokemon videos, yeah. and like Call of Duty videos. I miss those days the most. Yeah, nobody knew you made money. That was really fun. Yeah, because you had this secret. Oh, oh, you mean it like that? Okay, I got. Yeah, you. it was like yeah. this secret, dude. Yeah. It was like I I just remember being blown away that I'd be getting my hair cut and somebody be like, "Wait, you make money on YouTube?" Yeah, I'm like. Not really. It was like a secret. I didn't want anybody to yeah. know. It's like protective. I still get comments like that sometimes. It's it's definitely more widely known now. Um, but I'll get comments like, "Oh, how do you make money? What's your job?" And I'm like, uh, "Really? Like, well, oh, they live like, under a rock? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I I, I it's people like start YouTube too. now just for money. Yeah, for real, it's crazy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I've always gone into it um with a passion of just creating. Yeah. I've never thought about it like, oh, I'm gonna get rich off of this. Yeah. And any time I feel like I've tried doing that, it doesn't work out right. So, um. Every time I've ever created, I just do it for passion and just like I, I, I mostly enjoy seeing, you know, the reactions of people and numbers. I'm obsessed with numbers. So mm. and not when it comes to money, just like seeing views go up rapidly fast. Like TikTok, it was addicting. Like, well, it's a drug. Yeah, it literally. It's, it's like a, it's a, it's cocaine, dude. Like it's like it was it's so rush. addicting. We'd sit there and she'd be like, "What are you doing? I'm just sitting there refreshing my numbers on TikTok, going and it's going up like a thousand a second. I'm like, yo, this is insane. And she didn't understand it. And then when she started like posting actively and getting a lot of views she would do the same thing dude i'll yeah. sit there and we'd refresh. be like out to dinner what views are you at like there's, refreshing yeah. there's barely a better feeling in the world than when i would upload a video that goes viral because mm -hmm. you know the next few days you're on cloud nine, yeah, but yeah you know the world's watching you yeah it's weird it's a sick drug it dude. is dude it's crazy and then though. and then and then polar opposite when you when you when you have a video that doesn't pop, it's just so depressing, depressing. dude. Oh my god, yeah. ten out of ten, ten out of ten, ten out of ten. You're just like, zuh, zuh, zuh. 
you know what's really a depressing thing? You've probably experienced this. When you're kind of in like that wave of like you just have videos killing back to back to back. Um, I'd get into this rhythm where I'm like, okay, oh, this video got 20 million views in a day. Sick. What's the next one? Like you have to constantly just keep thinking yeah, of the next because the- you don't want that to die down. But it's almost like – I can't fully appreciate in the moment how many views I'm getting because I'm just on that like that wave of like more, 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 more. Yeah. The yeah. mental danger is the addiction to one-upping yourself. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. eventually you're just going to hit a wall. Yeah. Like you can no longer one-up yourself. Bro, how does Mr. Beast do it? Yeah. He, he's, he's on another <laughs> He's got a full level, team, right? Dude. I mean, you could still, blame it on anything. The guy's a master. No, man. of course. He's I'm like not, a I'm mad scientist on YouTube. Him at all. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, but it's like... He's at hit a point, level now where he, it's a company. It's it has a big, to be. It has to be. Dude, that, that mental. Uh, I'd be depressed. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't handle that by myself. I love it. I love it. I remember. I remember being like, you had the you had the, the vloggers that were doing a million a video. And that yeah. was like impossible. Nobody could reach it. Yeah. And then we were doing five million. That's video insane. Every yeah. single day, three, five, four, That's five, crazy. three, five. And then I I remember saying like, who's gonna be the next? Because one million was impossible. To get a million on YouTube used to be very it's hard. Really good. Now it's like only videos that count have a million views, right? Yeah. And then I was always saying, like, what's that next number gonna be? And then you got guys like Mr. Beast. Hundred millions. Granite, 80 granite million. not vlogging. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely a little um, I wouldn't say easier. Like obviously the bigger budgets for videos, spending more money and like more time per video. It's not like you're posting every day. Um, but those videos are basically like little movies. Yeah, they're you know? amazing. So it makes sense. But to like vlog and get that that scale of views is insane. Oh, it was insane. Yeah, that it was, was insane. It was the impossible. That was kind of like what I was peeking at. Like Ouija board and the Fruit Ninja series, it was like three to five million yeah. videos. Dude, I insane. remember. It was crazy. That's why I talked about them because they were just so big. <laughs> it made no sense. I'd get more views in like nine minutes than I get in like an hour, an hour, a couple hours. Like, dude, I was getting like, I think I got like 150,000 views in nine minutes before and I was freaking out. I was like, Yo, this is crazy. <clears throat> so I would upload at 3 p.m. every day. I was at 4. I would have a panic attack if by 9 p.m., 10 p.m., I wasn't at 1.4 million. Wow. I would freak <laughs> out, bro, yeah. if it wasn't 1.4 mil. Yeah. Now, my last vlog has 100,000 views. Yeah. Total. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> it's crazy. It's incredible. I, I mean, I know that's across eight years but, but it's like, also like just behind the scenes like we're not running cameras we're not editing well it's, it's a way just like a, a way, yeah. dude who what what 13 t- year old youtubers are still popping Thir- like they've been on youtube yeah like oh years. i was <laughs> I yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, actual 13 year old. everybody the has their time right <laughs> yeah, yeah people think, come and go i and think if you get a decade blessed yeah if you get 10 years on youtube blessed yeah like mm-hmm. that is a real gift i've always had like that slow growth on social media and like consistent there's a lot of people that pop really hard really fast those are the scary ones and it's very scary and i'm always blessed that i've never had that yeah because those people fall off very quickly yeah and that's always been the biggest fear of mine is like like falling off and not being able to like support my family or like my job or yeah. like like you know what i mean because this is my life yeah if i didn't have this like i genuinely don't want to do anything else yeah like go i was gonna go to college because my parents were basically gonna force me to and like the only thing I was going to become was an anesthesiologist because, like, they, they pay really well, right? Um, so, gratefully, I, I'm in this position where I'm blessed enough to, like, yeah. make a great amount of money doing, you know, what I love. Mm-hmm. So, it's awesome. Um, but, dude, I couldn't. Can you imagine? I couldn't, no. The, yeah, it's a different life. Yeah. It's, it's a gift, man. I'm thankful every day for this journey that yeah. we've had. It's awesome. And I know so many people are trying to do it, and it's, uh, they, they tend to only see the success, Look yeah. at Mr. Beast before he was big. Dude, he grinded. Yeah. That guy was doing stuff nobody would do, right? Sitting <laughs> there saying someone's name a million times for right? like 24 hours. So like <laughs> people tend to like overlook what it took to get there. Yeah. Like people don't – they know because I tell them all the time, but three years we lost money on YouTube. Mm-hmm. They didn't make a penny, Yeah, right? It was like grinding and trying to figure it out and living it and frustrations. I'm quitting and, and just that pile of just keep going – and, and then it works, but, like, people only see the Mr. Beast, I'm going to be that, yeah. right? Which maybe you will, but it's a long road. Yeah, Don't expect course. it overnight. I think life works like this. If you want something bad enough and you put in the time and effort, you're going to eventually get it, no matter what. Like, yeah. you know, hard work, hard work always pays off. Sometimes people get it faster than others, and that's okay. But, you know, everyone's journey is different. Um, I, I just lost my train of thought. Um, I was going to say something else, but... 
forgot. Yeah, I forgot, dude. It's got a, it's got a <laughs> massive brain fart. Dude, we almost had a good podcast. Yeah. And then, I, I and then you up. blew it. I, I'm going to leave again. You blew it, bro. <laughs> Lance Stewart walks out. First walk out on podcast title. <laughs> there you go. That's a good title. But see, look, we're already trying to think of the clickbait. <laughs> clickbait King walks yeah, off. Yeah, Clickbait King walks there off. There it is, dude. I exposed him. I called him out. <laughs> I called out Clickbait King and... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, finish up by just asking some quick questions from Snapchat. Cool. Yeah. Do your thing. Let's do it. Do you want to read some with me? What do you? Ha- are these? Are these live? Yeah. I mean, those are new. Okay. We already asked about the fruit ninja finger. That, that was accidental. When Does he's gonna get married? Gonna... Wow. We've actually already hit a lot of these. <laughs> they want you to start gaming again, dude. Gaming. Yeah. Yeah. They're probably talking about Twitch. I'd, Twitch, I'd like yeah. live stream on Twitch for a bit. Yeah, we we dabbled too. That was super fun though. I yeah. actually miss live streaming on Twitch. Yeah, that was. I think I miss playing video games. Yeah. That's really what it is. But yeah, I, don't, I don't play too as much. long as you stream, it's work. So yeah, yeah I think true. that's the. What do you play? Just Call of Duty, Fortnite. I'm actually the biggest nerd you know, <laughs> and I'm all League of Legends. Dude. Oh, oh, cool. I love I've League never of played, Legends, but I have a lot of friends who like it. Probably know everything. I really like Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, like See, I my miss, God. Like, He's like obsessed with Pokemon. I miss the Pokemon days. Yeah. I was a little too old for it, but like my friends were. Got me down. You guys, you guys got to talk if I'm reading. Here, we can <laughs> let her read. We'll yeah. chat. Okay. That's too. That's too many same questions. I remember when we used to do Q and As. It was like the same thirty questions yeah. over and over. Yeah. That's how I feel about live streaming. I feel like that's one of the reasons it's kind of like a turn off for me is because I just feel like I'm answering the same thing over and over. Yeah. And then I feel like a broken record because there's people that like click on and off constantly. Yeah. You're like, I just answered this. Yeah, exactly. I feel like with Snapchat though, it's always different questions, which is nice. Yeah, I, I definitely get a lot of repetitive ones because like at yeah. the end of my stories, uh, I'll just go through and answer like five to ten questions. Um, I'll that's try cool. and keep it more engaged. Yeah. And then... Snapchat's been really fun. It's really fun. I think that app is. Um, really underrated right now like i think the like the ability to see comments live is awesome mm-hmm. i love that i kind of get lost on instagram with comments and like, yeah. they're just buried youtube the same thing like snap is like very personal the best filters in the world yeah like some of the coolest filters. some of these filters yeah. i'm like how is snap the only one doing this yeah like yeah. instagram definitely has them too but i just i, I do they're not feel as like good that's better yeah that's good dude them snapchat filters are crazy yeah Okay, Rick wants to know, what's your best relationship advice? Hmm. My best relationship advice? <laughs> Communication is key. I was going to say that. Um, like genuinely trying to be empathetic for your partner in situations where like maybe you might not think it's a big deal, but to them it's like the end of the world. Uh, yeah, I think I think overall it's mainly communication and like trying to – that's like the week before the period. The whole week before the period. You're right. <laughs> the world is ending for them, bro. <laughs> She's not even. <laughs> That's right now. No, bro. I'm <laughs> Wait, is it? All the guys can agree on that, you know? So I feel you. Bro, it's almost like you're going to start soon, aren't you? Like, it's wild. You're like happy, sad. I think you've been with someone angry. long enough that you can you can yeah, tell. Yeah, it's that week before and yeah. then they're on it. Like, oh, okay, it's, it's not, not as so bad. bad. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> yeah, period. It's, it's always it's the week, the week, the week before. before. It's like their hormones are just raising. Yeah, yeah. it sucks for them too. I yeah. always feel so bad. Yeah, it's like I can't control it. <laughs> she doesn't. We talk really can't. I swear. <laughs> no, it's how you feel. Yeah, it's like, I just want to cry. Like, why? What, what <laughs> I'm like, why are you crying? I don't know. <laughs> I just want to cry. Like, that sucks, dude. It's like free depression. <laughs> for real. I didn't sign up for that. Mm-hmm. Sorry, there's lots of feet comments on here. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Bro, the people never stop with that. All I get on my Snapchat is let me see your feet. It's so that's all I get. Yeah, I'm starting to think Snap is like the home of that. Because mm-hmm. that's the only place we see it. I just look, I don't have a foot fetish, right? But like I just I guess because of that reason I can't comprehend it. Like I just don't understand what the thing mm-hmm. is. Like why do people love feet? Yeah, we've had this conversation a lot actually, because it was a real mystery to me. And I I mean Hearing people with the fetish talk about it, it's like, okay, fine, I yeah. get it, right? But, yeah. like, if you don't hear them out, you're like, that's freaking weird. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird, yeah. bro. Like, a boob is way better. <laughs> but Nah, dude, trust me, the feet. I, I guess it's just, like, we're all kooky in some way. Yeah. I don't know. Like, is there, like, different, like, you know, ways of favoring feet? Like, like if the big toe is, like, a hair yes. bigger? No, it's all about that. Yeah, like we watched the, the whole video. Of, it's all about oh, that. And it's there's like, videos explaining the fetish? It's, like, the nails to the heel. Oh, my. The, wow. The roundness, the... 
If you have I mean, a I'm getting bunion. turned on just talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bunions are probably no go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Grandma, you're out. You're yeah, out, Grandma. Out. Oh, you should do that. You should. All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to do it. And just right before it hits your foot, do Grandma's <laughs> yeah. foot. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Grandma. Just that troll them. Like just troll them. We, I mean, I do that with Britt all the time. Like, guys, I'm taking her sock off and I pull it off. She has another sock on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's I'll terrible. put like a little sticker over my feet in my Snapchats. Mm-hmm. Like I like won't show them and people get so upset. Yeah. If it's like in the morning, she'd have socks on or something. I like record her real quick. Yeah. And people comment like for free. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're like, oh, you're giving your free feet. I think it's the things. aggression of it that weirds me out a little. Mm-hmm. If they just like her foot, whatever. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, come on, bro. Hook us up. <laughs> we, we, I get comments. We know you can get a foot pick. Dude, I'm like, crazy. Oh, relax, yeah. dude. Relax. It's a foot. She walks on it. <laughs> it's okay. dirty. Sorry. I'm trying. At this point, she's on Maybe under. that's like another part of the fetish, if it's dirty. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. Like, oh, we want to see it covered in mud. I've, I've given Yeah, it. there was this uh, TikTok I saw of a girl, like, saying that she was working, and she had to, like, go buy these, like, donuts to, like, step on them. Uh, what? And then I feel like, like I saw that. eat one of them. Yeah, That's I feel like I saw I that. I didn't step on this one because I have to eat it. Yeah, we need to go outside more. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, like, people need to get outside more. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just go outside. There's real cool <laughs> things out there. Like, instead of feet pics, you can actually see in person. There, well, <laughs> be careful. <laughs> yeah, creepy Lance and the... Do you think I've been at the beach? <laughs> yeah, at the beach. <laughs> Okay, Chad Hammer wants to know. Chad Hammer, dude. Look at <laughs> that. Do you think God. that's his real name? Heck no, dude. <laughs> if that's his real that. name, that's a dope name. That Chad sounds like Hammer. a porn star. <laughs> Chad <laughs> Hammer. Yeah, you're right. Well, he wants to know why you're such a douche. <laughs> you know what's funny? I, you're good. You're good. So I've always said this. People that don't watch my vlogs <clears throat> think that. And then the people that do, they're always like, oh, you're so nice. You're so genuine. Like, it's the total opposite. The people that just see the pranks are like, oh, this guy's such a dickhead. Of course, dude. I, I just have, have to and get, I get the it. TikTok clips. You're good. Bro, you're wait. Good. I genuinely <laughs> Judging I by the guy's too. name, it's a troll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. But I agree. If yeah. I only saw my, you know, prank style content, I'd think the same thing. I'm like, wow, this guy's such an asshole. Oh, dude, people hated me. Yeah. Before the yeah. vlogs. Yeah. But like, like, like when you actually things. open up, you show them your personality. You know what I mean? You show them interacting with the people that like you prank, right? Whatever. You, you get a better understanding. Like for example, yeah. my grandma gets, like I said, she gets very pissed off mm-hmm. in the moment. But like a couple, a couple minutes will go by and I'll go and edit the video or whatever. And I'll show her and she'll laugh at it. So it's like she's a good sport. So... You know, there's it my, is what uh, it is. Well, we don't think you're douche 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 just. Thank <laughs> you, I appreciate it. Maybe Roma does. Bro, you've been one of the like, just chillest, <laughs> nicest dudes, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. You too, bro. Yeah. Yeah, this has been fun. Cool. Super yeah. fun. Can we uh, go eat yet? We haven't eaten today. Brit just wants to end the show. <laughs> oh, we're at an hour and a half. Well, it's not long enough, bro. We need more. Longer. Yeah. Let's make what else can we talk about? Here. Listen, the longest podcast you've ever done, dude. I've what done is the longest. An hour and a half vlog was my longest. Uh, you did an hour and a half? Yeah, so we got to at least beat that. So we were doing vlog movies. Did yeah. you ever see any of those? Dude, I love doing those. So we turned our vlog into a movie, and we'd shoot for a week. But it would have storyline. It would have B-roll. It would have music. It would have uh, – and we would create – like when we went to Dubai. I was going to say, that reminds that me of like movie. your Dubai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then China. That was a movie, and that was fun, dude. We wanted to do like an Atwood cruise with the whole family and do a movie. I'll be saying. So it's still a vlog. I'm still talking to camera, yeah. but we also add in like camera following us. Cool. Cool B-roll. That's music. Fun. I love that. That was yeah. really cool. I, I like, like watching those. Yeah, they were really. Yeah. Well, it was like, it was a, a weird time. It was like vlogs where we're like, okay, they're going to die. It's going to long form content what's this long form content? And it actually, I feel like ended up being podcast, but instead we did. Podcast like, blew up. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you could see the long form content coming, but it just, we weren't really sure what. I'm still kind of baffled by podcasts because most long forms not working. Yeah. Right. Like everybody's scrolling so fast. Short form is killing it. But for some reason, podcasts are working. Like yeah. people listen, they watch, they, maybe they just put them on while they're hanging out or, going to the gym or driving. That's what I kind of do. Like I'll throw on a podcast sometimes and I'll kind of just like, I'll just scroll on my phone and like actively listen yeah. Yeah. or like I'll go on another tab on my computer and like researching stuff. And I'm like, I just like hearing people talking and like something might spike my interest and I might click back and like watch or whatever. Yeah. But I, I think a lot of people probably do that too. It's just like 
just having something to listen to. It's like, are you ever home and you just kind of leave the TV on? Yeah. Just like that, like noise. Yeah. Just like something going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like that, in my opinion. Yeah. And they're, and they're cool because you dabble in short form with them. Yeah. Right. So every podcast produces, you know, 10 Couple. to 20 shorts. Yeah. And it's like, that's, that's pretty true. cool. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's a cool little method. Well, hopefully, you got some out of this one. I don't know if I gave Definitely. you enough. Definitely. <laughs> I, 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 I got to give you some something better, bro. I what don't you know. got? I Let's hit it, hit it with the with let, the. Let me think of my little clickbait, bro. <laughs> did you have any, Did you have any like battles with other YouTubers back in the day? Battles. Like I, I somehow no. stayed out of all of it. I, I, still, I was never drama. I, I never still to drama. this date don't believe I responded to one single drama. Really? Video. Like that's good. Which is weird because now I want to have Keem on the podcast. Like I really do because yeah. like we're cool now. We ch- we chat, we text. Yeah. Like, but there was a moment in time where it was like. You hated this that guy's guy. gonna end same, my. This same, guy's gonna same, end my career. Same. He's the only he was, one I had drama with. I don't think people realized how <laughs> big he was yeah. when I was big, right? So it was like every little thing mm-hmm. he'd make a whole. Yeah. Also, he dedicated single videos to one person back then. Yeah. Then it turned into like ten people on video. You were a little safer. Mm-hmm. But bro, he would come out with a video, and you're like, just this wave of hate would come in. Needless to say, we, we just grew more. Yeah. But at the time, I didn't know that was helping us, right? Yeah. It was like, it hurt, bro. It hurt. But um, Keem and I, we really get along well now. I yeah. think we're, we, we actually have uh, like a lot of the same thoughts about things. And uh, I want to have him on the show. I think it would be fun to hear his side of it because, yeah. dude, Keem's a businessman. It's true. So just like we were clickbaiting for views, well, he knew how to get views. Of course, of course. So now I respect it, yeah, right? It's a have business, to. bro. Yeah. But God, that was scary back yeah, in the same. day. Yeah, same. At that time, I, like I like he was the only person I beef with. And I, I didn't like, have anything to hide. I was just freaking out. He's yeah. gonna end my career. Yeah, he's gonna end my career. But there, there was, was never times anything. though when like something would happen, like Fruit Ninja, for example. I'm like, oh my god, I hope he makes a video on right. it. Right. I hope. <laughs> right. I hope that he to bring so many more views to it. Yeah. Uh, there was another guy. What was his name? Scarce. He was, scarce. He was. Yeah, I love Scarce. Yeah. He was, he was. He was. Scarce always treated us well. Yeah. Exactly. He was. He was always like a lot nicer. You know, something happened, but. I really like Roman yeah. Bread. Or like he would give you a little love and like Keem was so aggressive about it. Keem was just yeah. good at his job. Like he, he he tied you in. And by the way, when the video wasn't about me, I was watching it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, every like, oh, every YouTuber was watching what it. What did Lance do? Yeah. What yeah, it was yeah. addicting. So mm-hmm. he had he had a good thing going. I, I think I mean I does think he still do it. I don't I think know. he still does a lot. I think he does on like Snapchat or something though. Yeah. Dude, everyone's on Snap. I think he does like a Snapchat show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and Snapchat shows are supposed to be like popping. Yeah, we don't have a show on Snap, but uh, Snap has offered that ability to yeah. us. So we're trying to come up with that. Even I just mean, the podcast on it could do well. I, I think like they were they were just talking like we have two thousand vlogs. It was like just reminiscing old content, maybe us talking about each episode. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, I really think that would be fun. I have a show, but it's basically just like compilations of like pranks. Yeah, it does okay. I, she I showed me today. You upload like an hour and twenty minute YouTube oh, no, video. Yeah, your YouTube. Oh you yeah, just of all your, your Snapchat. Snapchats. I tried it, and I just honestly, I was just trying to send a lot of people that may not know that I'm like vlogging per se on Snapchat to like yeah. over there, like for the people that don't follow me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it didn't like it didn't it, it kind of performed like a normal video, um, which is okay, right? But it got terrible last time. I got like seven percent. Which is garbage. Seven percent watch time. Yeah, well, but I it's an hour like, and twenty minutes, right? Yeah, but I have vlogs that are like that long that get still get like 50, 60 percent. Wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's a lot of minutes to hit fifty percent. Yeah, I mean a lot. Like I'll have like eighty percent for the first like couple minutes, and it like you know slowly dies off. But it's usually always around like forty to sixty is like a good range that watches it like the entire video. Yeah. I don't know what ours is. I, I mean, see. I mean, podcasting is like obviously like dedicated to either the guest. Or us, yeah. right? So podcasts are very guest built. Yeah. Guest built. Um, our solo, other than our last one, have done really, really well. I think if we can find like, if we can get better at being more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like what's happening in this moment in time? Trump's being arrested, Relative. whatever. Like politics. Related. Not politics, but like things that are happening News. in the world and kind of being more active with that. Because yeah. then you have proper thumbnails. True. You have what's relevant. You have... Yeah. Um, so maybe, maybe we can get better at that or, you know, come up with a fun show idea. (laughs) I don't know. What's going on? (laughs) What's going on in the, in the world and the industry and, you know, but I I like, we, we have fun doing solos too. It's cool. It's chill. Yeah. Just hit the couch and just chat, pick on each other or whatever. Yeah. That sounds fun. Yeah. It's pretty fun. Pick on each other. It's like vlogs, but you're doing it on a mic and posting an hour and a half of it. You don't feel as bad rambling. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, more interactive. It like makes sense to just chill and chat now. Yeah. yeah. So, what can we give the viewer? Like, what can we give if they're listening still? Like, what can we give them? That chain looks pretty nice. Thank you. <laughs> I, saw, I saw you looking at it a couple of times. No, His eyes, like, he's like looking at my eyes and he's like slowly like gazing down to the chain. <laughs> yeah, I'm always looking for like good world advice or uh, business advice. Like, um, I, you know, I, I just like to give them stuff. I like to, you know, they're here. Yeah. Like business support. advice, you know, um, invest in yourself. I think that's the biggest thing. That, that's one that's taken me my whole life to figure out. Like, it's so easy to just invest in your work and your home and your... Uh, everything but yourself. Yeah. Like you really don't put yourself first. Mm -hmm. And then once you realize like, I did that for a long time. Yeah. I think I it, it took me, uh, it took me taking a step back away from vlogging to actually realize that. Yeah. Cause I was just like, give, give, give myself to everyone yeah. but me. And like doing that, you know, I got my mental health in check. I got, you know, physical body health in check, everything, you know, properly taking care of myself. Cause when I was doing like daily vlogs, I didn't care what I looked like. I, like, I was just like this big Play-Doh, Mr. What did they call it? Bag of milk. It, it just looked like a bag yeah, of milk. Bag. Just bag Get of the milk. content. Yeah. yeah, it was just all about the content. And like, I didn't care what I looked like. I didn't care about what I ate. I didn't care about how I felt. It was just a, a complete mental battle always of just like more, 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 more to other people and yeah. not myself. Yeah, when we, when we uh, took a break from the internet, really, um, dude, it took months and months to snap out of it. Yeah. And then I was so exhausted it took me a long time to realize I've been giving everything I have every day yeah. to the internet. Yeah. And it I crashed mm -hmm. like hard. It took like six months to finally just hit me. Like, you're not filming. Yeah. Like everything we did, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. And then you found video games. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I did the same. That was, yeah, that yeah. was kind of yeah. you. Video games helped me a lot. I got so depressed, bro, when I couldn't film. Yeah, Like, we, we couldn't film. You couldn't, like, enjoy your oh. time, yeah, like, not filming. We couldn't film, and we couldn't say anything, so I was, like, so depressed. Yeah. I actually got depressed because that's all I know how to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I have nothing else. Yeah. There's no education, bro. I'm, yeah. This is it. Yeah. This is it. When this is over, that's it. But um, it's also become your purpose, right? So when you, like I said, if you yeah. don't feel like you're fulfilling your purpose, then you just... You feel so lost. Yeah. And I've, I've experienced that a lot in my life. Yeah. And the people you know with all your heart you've saved is, is worth more than uh, any other job I could have had. Yeah. Right? Like all the hate we've gotten, all the, all the like strain. It's a double-edged sword, I always say. And one side is all this greatness. The other side it comes with hate and the stalkers, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't change it for the world because of the people we have literally saved their life. Like I agree. People have not hung themselves because of us. That is crazy. That is a crazy thing to think about. That is crazy, and what an honor. Like, I've met these people. Same. I was going to say, it's always it's always one thing reading it, um, but when you actually meet these people and they say this to you straight to your face, it's it just it's crazy. I, I really don't want to describe it other than that. When it's a just... full-grown man approaches me, yeah. and he's already sobbing, tears running down his face, and he can't speak to me, I already know that I've saved that man's life. Yeah. Because it, I've heard enough of these stories. Mm -hmm. It's irreplaceable. Yeah. Bro, it's irreplaceable. It's like, very heartwarming. I, like, even if you've saved one, how many people have saved a life, bro? Yeah. That's, an, that's an honor. Yeah. That's a blessing to be able to do that, man. Like, our goofy work, our dumb clickbait, our whatever you call it, has, without a doubt, helped more people than any other job I could have had, bro. I've saved more lives with these dumb videos than a doctor. Because right? you're just getting their mind off of it. Think about it. Like, it, like <clears throat> if you have like a suicidal thought, and then you're like, "Oh, Roman's video popped up." You click on it, you completely forget your whole life existence, and you're just like zoned into that piece of content. Yeah. You're like, "Oh, he brightened my day. I feel so much better now." Like, I don't have those negative thoughts. That's weird. Like, just a little, just a little, yeah. little flip of a switch. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. bro. I don't know. But truly grateful for you know everybody watching. Uh, whether you're a fan of mine or not, but thank you for always yeah. tuning oh, for in. Sure, dude. This is OG like 2015 right here, dude. It's weird. When are you in your prime? 16, <clears throat> 15, uh, 16, 17? Uh, yeah, like 18 to like 21. I was overall just crushing, crushing. And then yeah. the past year with TikTok, or past uh, yeah, like two, two, three years ago with TikTok. Three years, yeah. That was my like third peak. Did you ever make any real good money on TikTok? Uh, the creator fund, the most I've ever made in a month was probably like, um, and look, this is still a lot of money, right? Yeah. Uh, but compared to other platforms, you know, it's obviously you know, much uh, less significant. Uh, I think like five to six thousand. 
So yeah, and that's for the one huge. That's views. huge views. That's Isn't like that almost a billion views in a month. Oh. The most I've ever gotten in a month was like I, I dude, I took a screenshot. It's like seven hundred and fifty million views. I have it saved in dude, my notes. That's insane. I was sitting there tracking each date of like when I was hitting another m- new million <laughs> subscribers. I went like six months in a row of just hitting a million like each month. More. That is insane. Yeah, it was for ridiculous. For six k. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, you get 100 billion views on YouTube. You're looking at like, <laughs> you're like retired. six to 12 you're retired. mil. You have an island. <laughs> yeah. I guess it could be like $12 million. That's insane. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. And now, yeah, AdSense is crazy now. Like I remember in our prime, we made terrific money, but the AdSense went what it is now. Mm-hmm. If you're doing that same thing now, it'd be double. Yeah. Double. Well, it went through that weird, there was good money and then it went through Adpocalypse and then it eventually started scaling up to even higher than what it once was, which is good. Yeah, we were fortunate enough to be like on the end of our prime when Adpocalypse happened. So yeah. it was like, no matter what, we had a good run. Even if, even if it ended tomorrow, we had a great run. Yeah. Right? It was like, we were, we were at that mentally, mental point because for a while it was scary. It was yeah. like, that's kind of like well, what I was money's starting gone. to pop. Yeah. So it was weird for <laughs> me. Yeah. Thanks, PewDiePie. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's sad. <laughs> that really was the start of it, right? Yeah, yeah. That was it, I think. But it's kind of sad to like put all that on like one person. But I mean, it kind of was. It's not. I don't know. I, I mean, obviously, any... obviously, a lot of people did the same thing, and they yeah. didn't start the adpocalypse. Yeah. But when but you have a page that big, you when know? you're the face of the king of YouTube, he mm-hmm. was the king. Yeah, the face of. He was like the mascot for YouTube, <laughs> dude. Yeah. So it didn't look good for any of us. Mm-hmm. Did he ever say anything bad about you? PewDiePie in any of his videos? No, I think he mentioned me one time in a video, and I can't even remember what it was about. I think he was just like doing a Reddit thing, and there was something on me about that. Um, he used there. to dog us so hard, but again, I think like a guy like that, he just knows what he's doing. Is like I mean, hey, we bro, were we were the your top, name's still in his mouth. And we were said. the top dogs, and he had to make that content. Yeah. Bro. I don't know if he ever actually hated us. Yeah. I think it was just probably not good. I think content. he hated on our Smile More brand. He did hate on our Smile More brand, yeah. but then that flipped. I feel like that flipped. I remember Just him like some merch. <laughs> no, maybe that was the problem. <laughs> He's like, dude, I want this so bad. I just don't want to pay for it. <laughs> no, dude, he, he he paved the road, man. He he really was like, even guys like Shane Dawson. Yeah. Like as crazy as his career's been. I loved his content. Back right. In the day. I I really don't think I would have started YouTube without Shane Dawson. Yeah. Like I really hilarious. remember sitting in the rope factory on my lunch break. And every day, you didn't have to go to Shane Dawson's YouTube page. You just hit trending. Yeah. And it was Shane Dawson every single day. Did he be remaking like Dr. Phil videos and like like people? Bro, like, he was going was so hard. Like, like none of it show. would work now, bro. Yeah. It was so controversial. And uh, That's why I worked though. And that's why it was funny because it was just like – That it was, was YouTube. Absurd. It was absurd. Express yourself yeah. dude, in a comedy form, mm-hmm. right? Uh, now we're living in – Polar opposite times. Yeah. You can't even be funny anymore, yeah. right? It's offensive. Well, yeah, everything's offensive. Yeah, yeah. Right? Anything comedic really is offensive, right? To be to be funny and to like not offend someone is nearly impossible. Yeah, if if, if you're not that comedian blessed with the ability to tell them <laughs> jokes because that's who you've always been, mm-hmm. how are you doing it, bro? Yeah. Like, how are you doing it? Because, but at the same time, like you need that controversy. <clears throat> yeah, to, you absolutely to, to grow. Do. It's sad truth. Yeah, if you don't have yeah. it, like. <laughs> You know, you're not you're not getting shared to like random people like, oh, look how effed up this thing is. You know what yeah. I mean? But the other person you're sharing it to might find it hilarious. So you never know. Who knows, man? What was the second? There was a second gust of Adpocalypse. So PewDiePie dropped the N-word. That was like the day one. That was like brands are pulling out because it's unsafe here on YouTube. But th- wasn't there a second? There was, was it, a big... Was it not was Logan? It that or was it... Oh, um, Logan's rain f- uh, forest. Yeah. Was it that? I think that was it. I thought I thought there was like some like Taliban stuff or something like that with PewDiePie. Yeah, well, yeah. There, there was yeah. a there was he a, like hired some guy like on like Fiverr to like make a video. There was that. Yeah. But there was also the guy that shouted out his name before he did the shooting. Yeah. That was scary. Yuck. That I would be hard. That would be hard oh, to sit with. Okay. But I don't think that had to do with that apocalypse. Yeah. I think I think Logan, PewDiePie, and I think this was just an excuse. Mm-hmm. For Adpocalypse, yeah. right? Like, I think this was having to come eventually. Probably, yeah. It was YouTube's way to now clean up the environment. Yeah. We've established, we've built the platform. Now, let's start selling real ads, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> it was a business. It's a business. So. They, they got to do what they got to do. So, I mean, from a business aspect, I completely understand it. I guess the thing that's always kind of annoying me is like, 
you know, I'm very raw in my videos and my vlogs. My my family, especially my grandma, curses like a, like a yeah like a crazy amount. So <laughs> going in and having to believe all those curse curse words and like having to feel like ungenuine to my fans was very annoying to me. Um, I don't know. It's like what I had to do, or else like I'm I'm not making anything off of these videos, and it's like I can't financially keep making this content um, as my basically full time job and not make anything off of it. Yeah. So, you know. It's like a double-edged sword. You have to pick and choose your battles. Yeah. I feel like that old guy that's like, I miss old YouTube. Yeah. It's like, it's <laughs> like, like listen to my grandpa be like, I miss old music. Yeah. It's like, it's just always going to be that way. Yeah. Like they, there'll be times in the future where we're like, God, I wish YouTube was just how it was in 2023. Mm -hmm. Cause man, it's, it's true. Well, it's no, true. Right. Yeah. And, and you got, you got Susan stepping down. Yeah. We don't know who the new guy is. We don't know what he's going to implement or to, to create. Is it going to be more censorship? Is it going to be more self-censorship? Yeah. Is it going to be... Who knows, dude? Yeah. Pretty soon we're just going to be like, hey, uh, AI, create a video for me, and it's going <laughs> to pump yeah. out. It's going to pump out content, dude. That's very weird to think about. What do you think about it's AI? Possible. And guys like us, we, we've said every word in the dictionary. Thousands of videos. Yeah. Right? So we, they already have our vocabulary. Yeah, they can... I saw somebody, um, they took a Drake song, and they put Kanye's voice over it. It sounds exactly like Kanye. Isn't that crazy? And it's very weird. Your musicians won't have to sing anymore. Yeah. They'll go into the booth. They'll say everything they need to say and just override it with someone else. You can make a Michael Jackson song right now. Yeah. That's weird. And it'll be as good as the original. Yeah. Soon. Yeah. Dang, dude. That's crazy. AI freaks me out. Uh, look at this unreleased, uh, you know, Michael Jackson song, and it's not even his. <laughs> <laughs> I think the thing about AI that it's weirding me out is like there's so much talk about the negativities of it. But none of us are choosing AI. It's just being pushed to us. Yeah. Right? Like, we're not choosing AI. Mm -hmm. Right? We didn't choose this. Yeah. It's like, it's coming. Yeah. We have no choice. This has been inevitable. If it destroys our earth, yeah. we didn't choose it, and we had no choice. This, has been the, this is the thing that's been talking about for, like, 30, 40 years now. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, even before I was born. Like, oh, one day robots are going to take over. And, I mean, with how quickly... It, it's advancing AI, and then on top of that, do you ever see like Boston Dynamics, like the robots? Oh my making? god, those things creep me out. <laughs> yeah. Why do their bones need to bend that way? <laughs> Imagine that with the AI. <laughs> yeah, it'll that, be like like Chat GPT. It'll be so like, smart. Yeah. Facial recognition. Everything. Everything. And they'll be everywhere. Yeah. I mean, look how fast they're pushing out uh, combustion engines. Mm -hmm. It's all going electric, dude. Yeah. Like it's not a choice it's coming yeah and, and we're gonna get we're gonna on you we're gonna just conform and i'm sure eventually they'll have like emission laws where they just like yo you can't drive this in, in five years like you have to get rid yeah. of it or do something yeah. with it yeah it's already happened i in think california's states. already put it into effect oh wow like by 2025 they'll, they'll get us with something mm -hmm. dude yeah because i'm like never gonna own an electric car but they're gonna get me with something yeah. there's gonna be something <laughs> cool dude and i'll be like well, you know what that's pretty cool yeah. i need one <laughs> yeah and then I like bam. The sound. Yeah. I'm sure I if I got in one, Same. drove it, I'd probably fall in love with it. Yeah. It's very fun. Like I yeah. said, I have a Tesla and it's it's when it works properly, it's it's amazing. Did I you see it. Whistling Diesel's Tesla? Yeah, recently, the recent video where he uh, Fantastic. Dude, that's sick. Fantastic. He put the giant wheels on it. Dude, nobody's doing it's it like hilarious. him. Bro. I, I love it. him. Yeah. I love him, dude. That video, he's one of the rare guys that uh actually the only guy that when he drops a video, we all go to the living room. And watch as a family. Yeah, I know, you watched the last one without me. I know, she's like, have you seen this? I was like, mm, yeah. She's like, ah. Oh. It's so funny. It's the only guy like that. Dude, he's killing it. Love it. Do you guys watch any shows currently or no? Like, do you sit down and watch like a binge watch TV show? Yeah. Or? We just we started watching Alone. Okay. Do you remember that show? No. You, you just stranded. It's on the History and, Channel. Bro, it's, <laughs> I was going to say, what is it on? It's like they, they dump these people out in the woods and you have to survive. It's okay. on The yeah, new one's survive. on Netflix. So it's like Survivor in a way? No. Wait, no, it's actually new? Different. They still make them? Yeah, it's I thought we were watching an old show. No. Oh, see, I'm hip. I'm cool. I'm hip. It's on Netflix. We're it's, watching. Oh God. It's like um, kind of like Survivor. Okay. But they had to survive on their own. Every great show that came out during our prime, I know nothing about. I've never Same. seen Game of Thrones. I've never yeah. seen uh, Breaking Bad. I've never I didn't seen watch anything. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Like it's like when I met her, like we just she just got me into it. I we showed him all everything. the good shows. So like, yeah. We're watching Breaking Bad right now. It's a pretty good show. We're in like the fifth season. About yeah. to start it. It's um, so good. I want to start so it so shows. bad, it's but it's so like, good. there's a kid in the room at all times. Yeah, it's can't. like, I can't watch it. Yeah. 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 It's a tough one. Stick to the clean stuff. Mm -hmm. Survival shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Teach my kids how to live in the woods, yeah. bro. <laughs> Might need to soon with all these, uh, nukes about to drop. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, we just lost the podcast. <laughs> uh, the feed is clipping. Nah, dude. I'm 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 a, I'm addicted to Twitter. That's my spot. Same. I live on Twitter. She's always like, "Why are you always on Twitter?" I'm like, I, hate I don't know. It. I, I never go on Twitter ever. I, get my I hate news. it. That's where I get the world, bro. Yeah, same. But I never post. Yeah, s- same. Ever. Dude, I just constantly lose <laughs> followers. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, like, oh, I yeah, my followers post. drop every every day. I'll tweet something and then I regret it. And I delete it. You delete I'm it like, within literally two minutes I'm of like, posting. I'm like, why do I do this? I don't do this on any platform. Why is it, dude? <laughs> I'm with you a thousand percent. Why do we do that? I've made so many posts where I'm just like, ah, just delete it. Yeah. Why? Who cares? I don't know. I don't know. Who gives a I rip? Really That's why know. I don't post. It's the only platform. But what I is it on. about that platform that makes you so self conscious about posting? Because, dude, that platform is a it don't give a rip platform. I think the platform in itself is very controversial. And I think I don't have that controversial bone in my body. Yeah. And I don't want to. I'm yeah. Not, I'm of not course. a very, like, I, I'm not a very, like, drama fed person. Like, I, I just don't like. Being involved. So in if drama. I ask you, Ukraine, Russia, who you got? I'm, I'm not choosing either. It doesn't. It doesn't matter to me. Like I, I just. It's smart. I, you just stay yeah, out of it. Bro. I just stay out of it. Like yeah. I'm not in the politics. We, we do too. We do too. We do too. Yeah. But Twitter. It's very weird. My is the I'm addicted to it, dude. Same, like same. I, I don't talk about it or any of my thoughts about it. But I love same. seeing all this stuff. It's addiction. Bro. It is. It's drama alert. I'm literally like. Yep. Oh, the world's ending in two hours, honey. Twitter just said so. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not in two hours. It's <laughs> it's tomorrow. <laughs> uh, it, it, yeah, that no, I'm right there with wild, you. Bro. Yeah. I I'll feel be like on it forever. I think it's one of my most... I, like, I stay on it longer than TikTok, for sure. I remember Elon posting something recently, I think after he bought it. I love his tweets. It was a percentage <laughs> of big users that are on Twitter for so many hours a day that never make a post. And I'm like, that's me. Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. I should be posting my thoughts all day. Bam, bam, bam. Who cares? Boom, 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 boom. There was a time period where I would only go on Twitter just to see his tweets. I'd literally go to his profile and just read them because I was just so interested. I don't know. Yeah. He, he, He's he, a very interesting person in my eyes. Yeah, it's like Trump, right? Whether you like him or not, you, were, you had to see what he was posting. You had to because it was so... Filled with fire. <laughs> it was like people love drama. So I mean, people it's very, love it's reality TV, yeah. dude. All these guys are a reality show. Like Elon Musk, got he could be an alien, dude. Like from another Never planet. Yeah. Bro. Like he's <laughs> what so, if I'm an alien? What if you are? He's bro? so advanced. Are you what an if alien, bro? Baby. Lance Stewart's an alien. Oh. You ever get weird thoughts? Like, damn, dude, I'm weird. Like you could oh. be. I I'm could definitely be. weird. I could be an alien, bro. <laughs> I don't know. You could be. I have no idea. So, you always so, say that. I will I, say. I always mess with her. I'm like, I'm not even real. Like, none of this is real. I will I say. I try to mess with her. Like, <laughs> since I've seen you from day one on the internet to now, you haven't aged even a day. And every time you blink, your eyelids go this way. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what? Have you ever noticed that? Or is that no, just a now thing? I've never seen that. Just, just right now. Watch back. Watch back. <laughs> At four minutes and 30 seconds, watch. His eyelids. He's a reptile. You see all that? <laughs> okay. I'm like that the whole, I, <laughs> the whole rest of this. I think this podcast has gone for a turn. What? <laughs> we got hit two hours. <laughs> <laughs> all right, he wants to hit two hours. We got five more minutes. <laughs> it's whatever you guys want to do. I appreciate you having me come on. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, I appreciate fiance. it. Yeah. Thank awesome. you for making the trip. You had to take two flights. Yeah, two flights. At three. Ohio's the worst. It was not three flights. From Jersey, three. You had to connect twice. Bro, I would have rode no. a bike. I, I was okay. gonna say I would have rode a bike. I would have just drove here. I think it's like a six-hour drive. It wouldn't have yeah. been too bad. No, we took one flight. I took a, a straight flight here. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't bad. It was literally an hour. Yeah, that's nice. Bad. Heck yeah. Well, um, we'll have to come up to Jersey sometime. For Meet sure. the family. Yes. Like that would be fun. Shoot some shorts. Yeah, you're gonna kick out a grandma. She's hilarious. I want to yeah. meet grandma, yeah. dude. You should have her on the podcast. Yeah, we should have brought her. <laughs> she like doesn't travel anywhere. The most she goes is Walgreens, which is like three minutes down the road from my house. And Getting like, her meds. She yeah, exactly. She gets out of breath just walking to the to checkout yeah. counter. So, bro, I will say, um, <clears throat> I had to I had to get some medicine for my mouth not long ago. What was that called that I had? I can't remember. I took a Z pack. Oh, and yeah, it like yeah. stripped all the freaking. We're just feeling sick. Antibodies. Antibodies. I, I don't know what it's called, but it like destroyed my mouth, dude. It's like such a side effect I didn't know about. So I was in there, and bro, the line at the pharmacies in these places is insane. Yeah. They're always so long. Bro, it's insane. Mm-hmm. Like, Everyone's so sick. Like, yeah. insane, bro. Well, people are just like just hooked on their meds. Yeah, I don't take anything. Like I'm just take like vitamins and minerals. You're every all day. natty, bro. What so do you, you're the liver king, bro? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's so funny. No, but genuinely, like, I think if you just treat your body right, you eat right, you know what I mean? You don't have to, you know, granted, there's people with obviously medical conditions, mm-hmm. but um, overall, for the majority of people, I think if you just eat properly, train, you know what I mean, work out, um, and, and take vitamins and minerals, you know, you're pretty good. Yeah, bro. No, we have a, we have a serious problem in this country, dude. Serious problem in this country with eating, bro. Yeah. I saw a post I mean, this morning, like 2035, mm-hmm. everyone's going to be like obese or something. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. I know for a fact there's a big issue because when I talk to people about how I eat, I'm the weirdo. Yeah. I'm yeah, the weirdo, bro. Yeah, I feel that way too. So there when was a time that. where what I'm eating now was what humans consumed. Mm-hmm. But I don't eat Doritos, so I'm weird. Mm-hmm. Our kids don't eat Doritos. Uh, it's, you know, this is a sensitive My subject, parents kind of get like annoyed about it too because I'll be like, oh, I can't eat your dinner. But they're like, oh, but you can go out and get like Chick-fil-A or something. like, well, look, like I have to track everything I eat, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's probably not the healthiest thing, but like it's better than, you know, your spaghetti. Pasta. Yeah, yeah they pasta. just don't it's all, understand. It's like, like I'm going to crash. I'm going to go home and want to like go to sleep after I it's, eat that. It's, 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 by the way, it's designed like all these poor people addicted to this food and are, are overweight, mm-hmm. it's designed to be that way. Oh, 100%. Bro, and yeah. to break off of that's very hard. Like it's mm-hmm. it's miserable. It's it's I feel so bad for so many people. Um we're addicted to these highly palatable foods that make our real food taste like garbage. Yeah. yeah. Um they've put in sugar and everything, bro. I've seen chicken in the store with added sugar. Like that's yeah. insane. That's crazy, oh my dude. Gosh. Insane to me. Green beans with sugar and I'm like everything's got added Sugar carrots. now and like bags of carrots have sugar in them. And what that does is now a normal carrot tastes like crap. Yeah. yeah. Why is this brand better? Well, it's full of sugar. Well, that's Sweet. the thing. If you go on like a two to three month diet, very clean eating, and then you eat something that normally before you would have thought is like crap, like a, like a rice cake, right? You'll yeah. think like, oh my god, this is amazing. It's so weird, like how your palate changes yeah. after yeah. not having certain things for so long. Yeah, dude. It's designed. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course. There's yeah. no money in healthy people. No. Remember that. Not. They need us sick, bro. It's the only country with uh, – you look at the free healthcare countries. Mm-hmm. They don't have these drinks and food on the, t- yeah. On the table. Yeah, exactly. They're outlawed. They yeah, they're, they're not allowed. Yeah. If you look at like like uh, certain products, mm-hmm. right, you'll take a product from the United States and then one from like United, uh, United Kingdom. Same product except the list of ingredients on the United States products is, is, is so far beyond. Yeah, why do you think it's that is? so many – just more added pay yes. for our health Like ketchup. It's yeah. the same brand. Yeah. But there's different ingredients. And there's like mm-hmm. 20 different ingredients. It's like, yo, yeah. it's unnecessary. You have some tomatoes and water and like – I don't know what vinegar or something. I don't mm-hmm. know. Why do you yeah. have like twenty more ingredients in that? High fructose yeah. corn syrup. Yeah. yeah. Well, speaking, Red of, 40, speaking of Chick Fil A, have you looked at the ingredients? Uh, Bro, it's a paragraph. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, but, I, but it's, it's things not like that. that I ate every, they every they day, teach but, us that that's a healthy alternative. Yeah. But really, it's just loaded dude no of it's course like everybody's hooked on this stuff and, yeah. and and us too like there's when we travel bro it all goes out the window yeah it's like course. what are we eating cheese i'm saying yeah i had it today because yeah. i traveled we had it at the airport but it's like it's like either i'm getting chick-fil-a or i'm getting you know like chicken and protein or i'm getting you know pizza yeah. and i'm like i'd rather get the protein source it's, it's 80 up, 20 but, yeah. 80 20 dude mm-hmm. two steps forward one step back still making progress yeah i don't know are we canceled yet Probably. <laughs> All right. Well, we're hit an hour or two two hours and one minute. So everyone knows everything I say is out of love. Okay, can we go eat? We've just been talking about Chick Fil A. You guys want McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> Chuck <Dude>. Cheese. <laughs> no. Is the make it back or not? <laughs> McDonald's is actually good though. Yeah, we love it. We dude. do like it's it. Like our, it's like our dirty cheat. Yeah. yeah. Listen. It's been a Mc- long time since I've had McDonald's. McDonald's is probably my ultimate fast food. I can't remember the last time I had McDonald's. I was like that too. And then we had the Travis Scott burger thing when that oh, whole thing yeah. was the thing. And I just got hooked onto it again. Bro, you give me just two, what is it, the number nine? Just two singles. Just that classic. Yeah. yeah. It's burger. It's good. It's, it's addicting. It's good. You, you just keep wanting it over it's and over good. again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I know better. I know better because the problem is not eating it once. The problem is once I eat it, then I crave it tomorrow, yep. Wednesday, mm-hmm. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And now all I want is carbs and I want junk and now I want sugar. <laughs> It's a trap, bro. It's a bear trap. Once you stick your leg in it, you're screwed. Yep. I understand. <laughs> anyway. I agree. We love you all. Uh, we broke two hours, dude. Oh. No. <laughs> and, and there's not a cut. We didn't have to stop. No pee break. You have to pee bad, don't no, you? No, I actually don't. No, I don't. I'm actually pretty good. I I'm purposely freezing, didn't drink this. I'm actually. Are you cold? I was yeah, we over here off. shivering. I'm so point. cold. Like, you know my I, lips are probably turning purple. You know why we do that? Because it keeps you alert. If it's warm, no, you get tired. No, it's because it's loud. No, so. no, no. If it's warm, you're like this. He's got yeah, like all these you... like psychological benefits and stuff that he's like trying to. <laughs> I will get this out of you. He's got the ice bath outside ready to go. <laughs> oh, oh my yeah. god. Are we, uh, go take a polar plunge after this. 
All right, okay. we love well, you there. guys. Thank you for uh, hanging in there towards the end. Two hours of your life. Hope you got something from it. I don't know what they got. I don't know. <laughs> God, maybe. I'm sorry if you did. Nothing was. Uh, you know, not, don't it's take all out of love. I want you to do better. I want you to tackle your life. It's yours. We love you. You're beautiful. You're one of a kind. Smile more. Bye. That was the fastest two hours ever. Cool. Yeah, turn that heat back on. I know it's freezing. I know. I was over here.